<laughs> I listen to these BTF niggas because they blow my mind, son. <laughs> Tigers Fitted, BlueTigersFitted.com. Internet's back again. Another show, another week, another time, another place. And hope the audio is right this week. God damn it. Insert Swiss Beats. God damn it here. I feel like you're taking shots at that's me. That's right, God damn it. I'm taking the biggest cool. shot, scumbag that's Sherm. Was. That's cool. Oh, rookie mistake ass Sherm. That's what you're about to start getting called. Rookie mistake ass Sherm. Rookie moves. RMS. But that's all right. It, it, it happens to the best of us. So don't worry, Internets. We're back. Don't worry about the fucked up audio this week. You're going to hear me very clearly. Ain't that right there, my black pal? I might just mute you. You keep talking <laughs> shit. <laughs> but that's a whole nother the issue. Scumbag Sherm, how you doing there, buddy? Ah, man, I'm chilling, bro. Chilling like a villain? Chilling like a villain. You know, feeling great, feeling good, feeling great. What's your weather doing, man? Because it doesn't know what the hell it wants to do. Last week, we were talking about bundling hoes up, and this week, they're back out in the, in the sun. Yeah, because it's sixty degrees. I don't know. It's lightning and thunderstorming, <laughs> and motherfuckers trying to kill themselves. And, you know, <laughs> yeah, Sherman and I almost had a final destination today uh, what? in our travels. Please explain. Would you, would you like to start us off, or should I start us off and then you kind of continue on? Uh, you, you can, you can, you can. You can well, get the, all right, we're taking. No, nah, it was close. The quick version. The quick version is that we were taking a trip down yonder, and down yonder was a safe travels on a road that we're totally fine with. Probably driven a few times. In this particular instance, it's a little drizzle. Not a bad thunderstorm. Just a drizzle. Just a little pee-pee. And, um, you know, the roads aren't even that bad. Temperature's 60 degrees, so there's no ice, no sleet, nothing like that. We weren't even coming around a turn. What we were doing was driving straight, and Sherman and I were talking like we do and just telling stories. And it almost happened like a movie. Fuck F-150 trucks, by the way. If you have one, Internet's listening, I'm sorry. Because it almost took us out today. Almost, yeah. This F-150 is about a good-ass 25 feet in front of us. 25 feet in front of us. There's no one else, right? Then there's a semi-truck to my right, white, which is about a half a mile down behind me, right? Mm -hmm. Sherman and I are talking, and again, it's just like a movie. Tom, when I say the truck, the F-150, out of nowhere, is in a right lane. It's been cruising this whole time, not even paying no attention to it. on the highway. Yeah, Uh freeway. And we're like, "Eh." and the truck's like, huh? Huh! And when I mean, huh, huh, and as you can't see me, but the truck <laughs> did a goddamn hard right and a hard left yeah. as if it was swerving in front of something and there was nothing in front of it. And then proceeds to do a 180 and back up. And then it was like, oh, fuck it. 360. I'm like, like, oh, yeah. shit. We're T- going to die. Totally random. Yeah. And there's two old totally men in a car. Oh, no. 65, 70 miles an hour. Yeah. He and wasn't going. Listen. <laughs> he he three he three sixty there in front of us and I'm looking in the rear view like oh my god if I gotta get over who, this big semi trucks coming this way three cars coming this way slowly breaking and then all of a sudden at three sixty and he just goes wham and goes all the way to the left and hits some median and some bar we hear it go like pop, 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 and we pass it I think Sharon's hearts and I like jumped out of our fucking chest yeah, I'm too old for that shit. too old for that shit shit a Danny uh, Danny Glover moment within right there, twenty feet of this car wow and he did he swerved for nothing. Bro, I no I'm talking reason. about breaking out of like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm like, whoa. So we slow down. I see this guy in my rear view mirror. After he gets done smacking the shit, boom, backs up and he gets back on the freeway. As if it's not, as if, it's, as if nothing <laughs> just fucking happened. I sped up. I said, sure, and we're going. Wow. <laughs> we're out of here. Yeah. We're out of here. And then all of a sudden, Gargamel fucking lightning came down out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Boom, wow. I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> we have to get to our destination. What? We, we thought we, we we cheated death today. It was a crazy day, Tom. That's crazy. <laughs> so how was your weekend, regular ass Tom? <laughs> it was quite regular, not that shit. God <laughs> damn! It was all bad, man. I it was like, I was afraid. I didn't like get settled until like Holy 20 minutes after shit. our destination, and I had a drink, and I was like, calm down. My nerves are bad. As that well. is crazy. But you know what? We got the perfect kind of. Relaxation to come down <laughs> to straight come off of that. Wow! So regular ass time had a regular ass week, but we have a special guest in the studio one this evening. Internets, you all love when we have guests. You love, you love it. You just love when we have guests. Always so we try to have a guest, and you know, to Sherman's point, yes, we're getting rehydrated with some libations. Yeah, 
No, I used to say libations around you niggas, and you niggas didn't think it was a real word. Nah, don't play at me. all. Don't play me. I don't remember that. I do. It was a holiday. But He's making up alternative okay. facts again. No, it is. It was in yeah. the Bible somewhere. <laughs> and that's why I said it. I got it from. Mm. Not that new NIV shit, just the regular King James version. Mm. You got to look up the new NIV nigga. He's gay. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying nothing against my gays and lesbians listen to the show. The new NIV nigga. Just check your words. <laughs> La La Libations in the studio one. Internet's clapping up for La La. She's here in Studio One. Hola, Chica. How are you? Hey. Hey. Uh, you bought us a bunch of gifts. I did. You treated the alcoholics to an alcoholic dream. Of course. Of course. And as you say that, Scumbag Sherm <laughs> swigs his last of his <laughs> penny, penny tea back, finishes before all of us. Uh, yeah, it's about after. turning the squirmy jay. Squirmy really jay in a minute. <laughs> Really quick. I don't know I'll what that. I don't know what that means. Minutes, but this is about to be a wrap. All I know is this was much needed today. After <laughs> watching a man damn near t- take out fifteen <laughs> half the highway, but, half the goddamn highway. But that's sure. neither here nor there. That's so neither here nor there. So you. we have Lala in the building, and internet's. We talked about libations. So hopefully you're hydrated listening to this show, because we're definitely hydrated. Probably dehydrated about two a.m. this morning when I wake up. Like, <laughs> then, I'll, then I'll get water and toast and everything else. But anywho. Lala's in the building. She bought us some thirst quenchers, some samples of some henny tea, some, uh, I didn't have Bahama Mama. I had Hurricane. I had. You brought a lot. What all did you bring? So okay. I bought uh, Jello shots, which mm. is um, for the Patron lovers. We mm. have green apple and Patron. Mm. For the Tito's lovers, we have blue raspberry and Tito's. And then we also have peach watermelon okay with the jello shots um i did bring a eight ounce bottle which is i do believe the strawberries in it nope, nope the eight ounce bottle is the smaller bottle um the lemon right no nope, or something else it's patron Mango. it's a patron <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta save that one <laughs> it's a patron uh, margarita with uh pineapples yes that's what it was. um the 16 ounce uh, the twelve ounce bottle, excuse me, the one that Sharm finished was the oh, Henny right. tea, so it was Hennessy and peach tea. How was oh, that, Sharm? It was fantastic. 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 Give him ten minutes. Feeling like, oh uh, yeah, what is next? <laughs> Give him ten minutes. He's, he's Wendy Williams on the mic like already. Uh-huh. He's Wendy Williams on the mic. And then I bought six thirst quenchers, which is our version of a Dark Capri Sun. Yes, I'm definitely drinking one of them. So when they're made correctly, it's actually a trifecta. So it's a layer of slushiness. So what you're drinking now is supposed to be slushy. That's okay. I just like the syrup. What just drink it all okay cool. um and then we have a layer of either drunken gummy bears or drunken fruit depends on how the day goes mm-hmm. and then we have an extra shot so tom had the hurricane with the extra shot of hennessy in about it to call him slurricane mm-hmm. in the middle right. so, so we have hurricane we have <laughs> jamaican smile we have bahama mama we uh, have my tie and we mm-hmm. have um mm-hmm. i forget the other one that's but. okay yeah, we yeah, bought we were, some. We've already been drinking. We bought some Crown Royal. Yeah, we so. already been drinking some BTF juice on top of this, so mm-hmm. it's already crazy. And internet, if you hadn't known already, obviously we're talking about alcohol. Absolutely. So obviously, La La, your bartender. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now you've broken off from the bartending world, and you're still there, but you're doing your own creations. So, so talk about that. Like, how is it from being a bartender and serving drunk motherfuckers all night, and people just like, you want to fight? Uh, to <laughs> like, hey, I'm around, <laughs> I'm around all this alcohol, and you know, it'd be dope for me to actually create something out of this. So last year, my cousin had gotten married, and um, she was pregnant at the time. But no alcohol for her, just because she was pregnant, didn't mean we had to stop the party. That's right. So Mock what tails. I did was, um, I made drinks for everybody. We had got a boat and went out on a boat for her ba- for her bachelorette party. So okay. I gutted out a watermelon. And filled it with Jello and mm. did watermelon Jello, and I made like all these different drinks, and posted it on my Instagram, not thinking nothing of it, and it mm. caught on. So my friend Shante, shout out to Shante, um, some of her friends had got married over the summer, so mm. they booked me too. So um, this year for my birthday, I live in a one bedroom apartment in mm. Southfield, and I was like, I'm going to have a brunch for my birthday. Yeah, about eighty people there. I didn't well, think everybody was going to come. Um, I in a one bedroom? In a one say, bedroom. Nah, nah, Damn. Nah, nah, nah. I had a chef in the kitchen cooking food like fresh. Asses and elbows, I'm sure. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. And when you're a bartender and you have a party, a housewarming, anything, everybody always brings you liquor. So mm. I had a ton of liquor and I'm like, what am I going to do with this? I'm mm. not going to sit on it. I don't have many functions at my house. Hmm, ding dong. 
let's serve some drinks. So actually, the way Lala's libation started, it was um, a joke. Mm. My friend, um, she started her own little bartending company, and she had posted a picture of the person that she had hired. I'm like, hold on. Can I cuss on here? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Bitch, how you going to have a bartending company <laughs> and you ain't got one of the hottest bartenders in the city on it? <laughs> it's like, okay, so this was about the time that the strip clubs was going through a battle. So it was like erotic titties versus, I think it was King of Diamonds at the time. Hey. No, it was V-Live. I'm like, so we going to be like V-Live and erotic titties. Bitch, we going to make the city decide. So you either with me or you going to get ran over. Yeah. So I started slanging drinks out of my car. Um, nice. I had mason jars. So I'm like, damn. Everybody doing drinks. Right. Everybody putting them in mason jars. Yep. How can I be different? Sure. Um, so I did a lot of research mm-hmm. and I started graduating to the plastic bottles. So I had plastic bottles. I had labels. Mm-hmm. So it made it look a lot more professional. Sure. Mm-hmm. Um, so I started in May of this year. Okay. And 2017. 2017. Yep. And actually, it took off. So every week, every Wednesday, I'm dropping a menu. This is what we got on Lala's Libations this Wednesday. Um, my price points are very cheap. Mm-hmm. You can get Jello shots for a dollar, drunken gummy bears for two dollars, drunken fruit for four dollars. Eight ounce bottles are six dollars. Twelve mm-hmm. ounce bottles are eight dollars. Sixteen ounce bottles are ten dollars, and the thirst quenchers are twelve. Uh, we've even expanded to Juggle Juice, so mm, it's a gallon gallons. of juice. And you can pay thirty to forty dollars depending on what type of liquor you want in there. Nice. Um, you, you trapping primarily off IG right now, which is um, now now we have Facebook, so we trapping okay. on IG and Facebook right now. Best way to do it. Um, I do not have a website. It's okay. What do, they, what do they look for on IG and Facebook? My IG is ooh la la, so it's three O's O O O two H's H H underscore la underscore la, <sighs> and then on Facebook is la la. Libations, mm. yeah, because this uh, Hennessy peach tea combination ain't <laughs> number trouble over here. So oh, yeah. <laughs> it's making you feel right, huh? Yeah, right making you feel zone. right at home. <laughs> you struggling? Are you good? Nah, he's I'm good great. over there. He's feeling, Coasting. He's great. feeling warm and fuzzy. Yeah, that's why I got this hoodie on. Yeah, that's all right. Cold. We don't worry about it. <laughs> so you, you, you said it, it, it kind of just took off. So do you see more of, um, you know, your friends supporting it, or is it from? You know, just random people. Right? Um, Actually, it's both. We were honestly lucky enough to do weddings. So I've done two weddings this year. Um, I've done a baby shower. Well, all right, now. Turn up. Actually, I've done two baby showers. Uh-huh. Um, I did, what are they on the east side? Actually, they were at the Riverside Marina. Monday. There it is. <laughs> I already know. Shout out to Detroit. But both of them didn't have liquor. One had liquor. One did not have liquor. Mocktail, no mocktail. Right. Um, and then um, my friend Asia, her daughter turned one, so I made mocktails. So yep. we customizing cocktails, mocktails, and jello shots. Nice. So basically, if you have a, a party, a gathering, whatever, let me take care of the liquor for you. So nice. put the liability on me while you enjoy your time. So let me ask you this. Prior to, so you said you started this year, earlier in the year. Mm-hmm. Prior to that, how long had you been bartending? Before? Um, I've been bartending for nine years. Nice. In the city of Detroit. Now, are you a bartender or like, what do they call them, mixologist? I am a bartender. I slang drinks. I'm going to sell you drinks and dreams. <laughs> wait, 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 I'm going to wear the lowest, the lowest t-shirt. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, baby, ooh, come see me every Tuesday. Like, <laughs> I'm going to tell you that. Tip? I would even give you my phone number. Hey, that's real. Right. Tip, you the a, gift a that keeps on that's giving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the second phone number, the back phone. <laughs> Stanley, yeah. Not the main phone. Stanley. Stanley. I just want to make sure you're home, okay, Diamond? I always make sure you're home. always make sure you're home safe. You gotta, you gotta avoid them. That's real. Though. No, that's real. So, like nine years. So, what got you into that? Like, so there's a lot of people listening. Our audience is listening. Women listening may want to even be bartenders. Like, what got you into wanting like drinks? So, was it the alcohol itself? Like, yo, shit tastes good. Feel a certain way. I need to be mixing it up. Like, what what made you get into that? So, I went to college at University of Detroit Mercy. So, all my friends went to State, uh-huh. Oakland, Eastern. Had I had to money. stay here. Yep, it's okay. I had to stay in the hood I'm a drop out. in the school with the gate. So I had to figure out what can I do to be cool. So um, back then we had Facebook. Like you only had to have Facebook with a college, college email. Mm-hmm. email. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, I used to go out all the time. Like every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm out. You out. So I'm trying to figure out like how can I go out, have fun, and still make money? Hmm. Smart woman. Be a bartender. I didn't like being a waitress. I started off as a waitress at Club Status. It was on 8 Mile. But I don't like people touching me. Yeah. Come here, girl. When you're on the floor, they touch you. They they hit that elbow or they get that waist. They cuff that waist like finger to uh, middle finger. Yeah. (laughs) And it's, I mean, it just feels weird. And then they, like, you are a guy. You Like, you'll run the fuck out of a chick and then just give her a dollar. And, like, if I'm on the floor, I can't, like, 
fuck you. I'm not talking to you no more. <laughs> but when you behind a bar, I can hit you with the finger like, I'll be right there, right there. and never come back. Facts. So. I wanted to understand like the hustle so sure. I saw it from both sides I worked on the floor and I worked behind the bar so I worked in hood bars mm-hmm. I worked in upscale bars I even worked in a titty bar so hey, I've seen all levels of money uh, so you yeah you didn't capitalize off the thirst that I'm sure you done got you know what I'm saying doing your thing bartending and whatnot. You yeah know? so I get that Lala said her name changed her name three different times in one night I did what? my name is Rochelle Hey. No, my go-to name is Keisha. There he is. <laughs> Crying with all that Keisha's mother on game. That's how you got to do it. Hey. That's how you do it. You got to serve a big fat nigga over there. I'm Keisha. All right. Mm. And then the other one is. No, the big fat nigga get your real name and your real phone and number. And your real phone number. That's <laughs> he going to feed the money. you and keep you in your pockets getting the money. Yeah. A trophy. I just want a trophy. <laughs> 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 I just want a trophy. Put two, three thirst, uh, thirst clinchers in him. He'd be all right. He'd be all right. Yeah, he'd be he'd right. fall asleep. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, 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 see, I see the move. I see the move. <laughs> see the move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now, okay, so fast forward, nine years in the business. And then what, like I said, you had the party at the house, had people over, got all this alcohol. How can I make money? How can I have a good time? Where does where does all this come from? You did your research. So like people wanting to know like how to get into it. Like how do you like where do you get your inspiration from to mix your drinks? Where do you get the names? Where do you get like where do you get up and say, All right, we're gonna do something different with vodka, we're gonna do something different with cognac or you know. So, um most of my drinks are like vodka tequila based. Mm-hmm. Um, and my logo is lips. The reason why my logo is lips is because I have full lips. I hey. used to have braces. Hey. And, you know, people be like, oh, you the girl with the, you the light skinned girl with the braces. Like, it's okay. the light skinned girl. But it? I don't have braces no more. So, hey. um, I was really thinking about doing something to cater more to men. So, like, hmm. for the fall, I wanted to do, like, a cognac, bourbon, whiskey, pair with some cigars, you know. Not saying the ladies don't support sure, me, we'll but sure. guys, you, you're you like, not all guys, but some guys may not feel comfortable taking a picture with a pouch or a bottle with lips on it. Mm-hmm. But I I'm do cool have to it. question your sexuality. Like, you like women to kiss on you, right? Exactly. I'm about to say, I got Duh. a problem with that. Right. I rock this bottle. You know so, all, all day, every day. I try yeah, to come I, up I with drinks me down. Me down. that you can, like, make on your own. So, now I'm going to start doing um, videos on my social media called Thirsty Thursdays. Dope. So, let's get your weekend started. Like, if you got some Ciroc at the house, what can go good with this Ciroc? So, um, I just wanted to be something that you can do on your own. Sure. But if you don't feel like doing it, like, I can comb my hair, but I don't feel like it, so I go to the beautician. So, yeah. you know, I want to give you, I want to give you f- options. Hey, I don't absolutely. want you to feel pressured. So. Sure. Uh- can you can I, be your own bartender. Can I ask? Yeah, can I ask you to give the audience, listening audience, one for the show? They listening in, they hearing Lala, they saying her drinks are dope. I believe it because I'm tasting it. Mm-hmm. Obviously, they probably aren't. So, can you give them something to say here? Try this. You know what I mean? So, with the new uh, French vanilla Syrah, you know, we all jump on the bandwagon. Like, not me. Ooh, I don't drink the puffy juice just yet. Diddy got this new stuff. So, what I've done. Um, You can buy some French vanilla Ciroc. Mm -hmm. You can go to the Sunoco across the street from Bar 7 and get some uh, Clearly Canadian. Remember those when we used to drink when we were kids? They got those back out. The wild cherry is $2.59 plus deposit there. There it is. And mix that together. Very delicious. There it is. What you call it in that one? Whatever you want to call it. (laughs) (laughs) We're going to call it Tuesday night. (laughs) (laughs) Thursday, nigga. It's it's the high. Thursday, right. Thirsty Thursday. 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 Okay. All right. Calling it Sunoco's best. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it. Sunoco's goddamn best. Or do it fluid. I mean, however you feel that. So night. when you when you say we, is there like is there a team? Like do you have So you I do have out? a team. Mm-hmm. Um Asia is my marketing guru. Like okay. I can give her a task, she can get it done. She can sell you anything. Mm, water to a well. Water to a well. Ice in the winter. Mm-hmm. Damn. Um, I have Teasy. Okay. She's part she's like one of my girls that work the events. I have Lisa. Mm-hmm. I have Sasha. She like manages my books for me. Wow, okay. I need an accountant because I'm the type of chick who's like, I'm gonna go buy everybody something. Yeah, like right. I can't do that. Like I'm sure. legit running a real business here. Yeah. 
Um, my girls come up with a name for themselves. They call themselves the Drink Slayers, but I'm okay. like, that name is corny because <laughs> some old men are like Dick Slangers. Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> so we're working on our name, but okay. So how did you like? So how did you go about that selection process, right? Because obviously you have a business, you want to protect it. Like you said, you're the kind of person that's going to be just all over with whatever and want to get everybody happy and enjoying whatever. How do you go about selecting whether they're friends or family or people you grew up with, the people that actually manage like your money and, so, and, and are your business? Sasha is my best friend. Mm. Um, we've been friends for a very long time. And mm. when I first told her about like me even offering just bartending services, because that's what it was at first. 2014, I was like, ooh, la la bartending. Yeah. She was like, okay, like she did all my paperwork for me. She mm. manages my books. I trust her with with my shit. Sure. Um, Asia, I, my day job, I do have a day job. Yeah, I'm a sure. recruiter. All right. So she was my first recruiting partner. Like recruiting and selling drinks is the same thing. We both selling you a product. Right. It doesn't matter what the product is, but the way she sells the product is like dope as fuck. So I wanted her to be on my team. Like she's a genius at marketing. Mm. Um, she's just dope at what she does. Teasy, I met her when I was bartending at Mandy. She actually came in as a new bartender. You okay. know, when you new in the game, nobody really wants to pull you under their wing. And help yeah, you. yeah. So I helped her out. Now, did you, how'd you help her out? It wasn't like the Ronnie and Tricks help out. Like oh, diamond, no. Right? Okay. Like, you know. You got to show her the ropes. You got to. You got to, you know, like, show her, like, the, how, the like, basic drinks to make. You know, yeah. how to multitask, take multiple orders at a time and put them in and stuff like that. And, um... Lisa, me and her used to work together in corporate America, and she reached out to me like, "Hey, I want to learn how to bartend. So I want I want Lisa to be as good as I am as a bartender. I can't te teach you everything that I do, yeah. But she picks up really well, and mm -hmm. she's dope. So, um, and y'all get along for the most part, right? We get along, and I just really love the fact that my team like loves the dream that I have just yeah. as much as I do. Is so that's that, is that also part of the hustle you teaching how to bartend on the side? Is that I do. Okay. I do. All right. So my girls are tip certified. They right. do know how to bartend. So right. um, I'm getting to the point that I do not want to be at every event. I want you to Correct. book me because it's Lala. Yep. But Lala doesn't need to be there all the time because it. I can have an event with you right. and with you. I don't want to be like, oh, I can only do one event at a time. Correct. I have a team and I can spread myself out now. Absolutely. Now, what do you what do you bring what, when you say event? What is what is what do you you know what I'm saying? What do you bring to the events you do? It depends on what you need. So if um, for instance, the first wedding I did, she just wanted me to bring the staff. That's okay. all we bought. The second gotcha. wedding I did. He asked me, like, this how many people I got? How much liquor do you recommend? Mm -hmm. I bought the people. I bought the liquor. Mm -hmm. I bought the mixers. I mm -hmm. bought the cups. I bought the ice. We bought the bottles. We bought nice. the sparklers. Like, whatever you need us to bring, we going to do it. Like, That's... we need to take the pressure off of you so you can just enjoy your night. We going to come, set up, clean up, break down, and everything. True hustler. Now, where do you get, like, your inspiration from? Because obviously starting a business isn't easy. No. And there's trial and error. It right is. there's some things that you're like this is a great idea and you do it and you're like oh shit this sucked or it just didn't work so where do you pull like inspiration from or do you like have a mentor that you look up to to kind of help guide you and maybe you know even finesse your your business in a certain way like you certain take certain things from them um i'm a pinterest freak okay i love That's pinterest yeah. i love pinterest i love youtube okay um i look at people in different industries okay. like industries yeah. so um I watched the Hugh Hefner thing like I was telling you yeah, earlier. Yeah. He started in his kitchen. His mm. parent gave him $1,000, like mm. invested in his dream. Um, I'm good at what I do at, with liquor. So I just want to be able to give my vision and my dreams to somebody else. Mm. Um, I do have a couple of mentors. Sure. Um, in different backgrounds. Like I, I bother the fuck out of them. Like yeah. I need to know how to be great. So my personal Instagram page had five, like over 5,000 posts. Mm. I was told you need to take down every post that has under 30 likes. Mm. Wow. Okay. Now I have 1,700, like 34. Nice. So. <laughs> I imagine you knew the exact number. Though, right? <laughs> exactly. yeah. And exactly. some change. And some change. <laughs> so I get, I get tasks, you know, like when I ask questions, I follow through. Sure. Because I want to be great. Like, honestly, I didn't think it was going to take off like this. Yeah. But it never does, right? It never seems that. And then you like kind of look up and like, oh, damn. I got some dope friends. I yeah. got dope family. You know, um, we do not ship to strangers. That's one thing about my business. Um, I cannot have that liability of Jane Doe being mm -hmm. 15, getting drunk mm -hmm. off a of la la libation. Mm -hmm. 
Baby girl, I can make you a mocktail. Yeah, yeah. My absolutely. daddy does not drink, but my daddy orders mocktails for me. Yeah. My daddy will order like I was I sell alkaline water. Yeah. I need all the money. Like, oh you don't drink, but I got water. I you got know what I'm water. saying? pH ten pH of ten. I, I need you all your pH levels I are. need all the money. So At Wahlberg, watch out, nine point five. La la's ten. But the yeah. but the lower the pH, I actually the better it is for it you. It is. It is. You just gotta watch that uh Neo water. That mm-hmm. shit ain't no that and that goddamn uh what was it talking about earlier? Essentials, Essentials water. Moldy water. Ew. Oh, that's right. Recall right, water. I'm gonna have don't to get the me. alkaline water. Plus. Don't believe me. Just I'm watch. Over here contemplating. It's all, it's all a balance. It's all a balance. You know it's all about balance. It's all about. I need balance. You do need balance. Got to get your hose to balance for you sometimes. <laughs> balance hose. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. T. You guess. No, just no. Okay. But it's it's interesting to me. So like, let me ask you this. So you talked about team and everybody kind of falling in line. Like, was it hard to get your girls? Like, you know, they they see your vision now. Obviously, you guys have been successful booking events, things like that. How do you get the rest of the team to see like your vision on, on what it is? Like, is it a show and tell kind of thing? Like, hey, you guys may have your you know reservations on X, Y, Z, but trust me, when we do this, boom, and then they see it and they're like, all right, cool. Since this happened, we're down. Like, what what do you look to do for that? Like, what's your key to success on that? Like, as a as a team. So as a team, like. I like they have kids they have a family mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so my first thing is i'm going to respect your family time sure i'm not running an event every weekend just because i'm quote unquote booked every weekend really does not mean i'm making any money right because if you think about it, it's product mm-hmm. it's staff mm-hmm. it's overhead mm-hmm. i have to pay for a table at a venue so am i really making money or i'm just posting stuff to post like oh we busy right so right. i try to do two at least two events a month if we're not doing an event, we're doing a networking event. So it's more like a team builder. So when we did a, an event at Casa okay, as a team builder, we went down there. The girls picked out cigars. The guy helped us like, oh, this cigar pairs well with this drink. Right, right, right. So they can have knowledge. Sure. Because even though I'm selling you a product, I need to, I want you to sell that product just as, as well as I do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, we have a photo shoot coming up. I want y'all input. It's it's my baby. It's my brand. Sure. But your input means a lot to me. Um, as being a business owner, I can't say it's all me, 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 me. Yeah. I do not ask my staff to post my stuff on their personal social media, but they do it. Yeah. You know, they, they get their friends to come to events. You know, their friends is booking through them. And with that, they get an incentive. Like, mm-hmm. okay, here's your commission. Like, I feel like I pay them good for the time they're spending away from their children or, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want you to feel like I hate saying workers. I hate saying people that work for me. Sure. Because it feels uncomfortable. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like you got a lot of people that believe in you and believe in what you're doing. And that always helps too, right? It does. It you does. I mean? Like one of the girls today, TZ put on Snapchat, like, it feels weird. We don't have a lot of libation event this weekend. Mm. But, you know, you need to have time with your family. Like right, I right, flew right. to New York yesterday to see my goddaughter and I flew back this morning. Mm. So I. I'm real big Stop on family. Fighting. Right. <laughs> Flex zone. Hit it. When Shit. she turned one. Uh. When she turned one. Uh. She's like, uh. I don't land at the airport. He called it the club <laughs> airport. <laughs> so I think that's what, you know, I'm very humble. Sure. I'm very I'm, And I see that on your posts. Your, your parents, your dad taught you well. My dad taught well, me well. you daddy's girl? I am daddy's girl. Daddy's girl. Ride and die. Mom was like, a dry pussy <laughs> and a wet purse. Don't mention <laughs> My like, what? <laughs> it's a Paul Mooney thing. Don't yeah, worry about it. Yeah. Yeah, it went over my head. Top, <laughs> like this. It's like the vinegar in the tub. Douche. <laughs> it's called a snapback. <laughs> Snap <laughs> that pussy back. <laughs> 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 I'm going to have to catch up with you guys. What? Yeah, you are, Sherm. Yeah. That's an old Baby. trick. Pro host. I really want to love you. Nothing. Never mind. It's all right. Fucking Sherm. Sherm's slow me. tonight. God. <laughs> really? Damn oh. it. Nothing. You got me on that one. <sighs> Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Wow. It's okay, sure. I might need another la 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 bitch. <laughs> I can get it together. You got an extra la on that bitch? La 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 Exactly. It does roll real well. Yeah, exactly. It rolls. Roll. Like a rose compolio. Yeah. <laughs> Tom wouldn't know about that. No. <laughs> 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 I 
Lala, you gonna stay with us second half? Talk sure. a little, talk a little, talk a little. I don't have nothing else to do. Hey, that's what it is. This is how we do. Black Negroes. Three of them. Wait, but isn't that like a double negative? It could be. It could be a conundrum if you think about it long enough. <laughs> <laughs> but those are big words that we say to sound fancy here on the Blue Tiger Spit. Shit for your mind. God damn it. <laughs> and on that, Lala's going to hang out for the second half of internets. We're going to go to break, listen to these freshly made beats, and we'll be right Yeah, it's Rose Spit. What up, though? And it's 14KT. And we are Rose Go. You are now listening to the Blue Tigers Fitted Podcast. Podcast yeah. Blue Tigers Fitted, Blue Tigers Fitted.com. Internet back again. Freshly Made Beats has this goddamn camera in my face yet again. Yet again. See you on IG. Shout out to Fresh for the Beats. Shout out, shout out to Fresh for the Beats. Shout out to him not using the 2X Zoom and just literally being like <laughs> centimeters in my face. <laughs> centimeters. <Pause>. <laughs> That's a good pause. <laughs> Definitely a good pause. But anyway, La La Libations is in the building. She hung back for the second half, and she does not know what she's getting herself into. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is when it gets fun. <laughs> I quit. It does. All the BTF juice is flowing. All the la la libations is flowing. Sherm, you got water, so now you're like thinning your blood. No, he needs more la la libations. Mm-hmm. I just finished my second drink. Lies. No, you didn't. What? First, really did. What? You got one. I cup. finished the pouch. The uh, the no, you shot. Where's it at? And the henny tea. Where's it? They trying to Where's see me how. Oh, I didn't even see the pouch. Where's I didn't see the pouch either. Pouch I'm, I'm a low key drinker. Sure. Where's, where's, where's the pouch? Oh, oh. Right here. Where's did you, the pouch? Did you add the extra shot in the pouch? Nope. He uh, sure didn't. Yeah. Uh, uh, lies. That's Don't my be a pussy. That's my pouch. Don't be a pussy. All right, I got you. I got you. We'll talk about that. Goddamn engineer. I got you. Gotta make sure the show sounds show show sounds good. Hip 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 Oh, black I did ass. I'm not going to leave that alone. What? Come on, T. Oh, black ass nigga. Come on. Can't stand on Sherm. But what I'm going to talk about. See? See? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to talk about niggas that had this kind of shit we're talking about. Internets. We're getting into the second half. In the second half, you might want to listen up, okay? Because we're going to get through this. We're, we're definitely going to get through this whole entire list, okay? And what has inspired this topic of the evening is because I looked at the um, Netflix show, Please forgive me if it's not the right shit, but it's dressed or fresh dressed or some shit like that. All I know is look for Biz Marquee in your shit and new releases. And it's inspired me to talk about the topic this evening about brands, clothing brands specifically that you may or may not have had back in the day and that you used to rock or that you might have gotten for Christmas or a birthday or your girlfriend, a significant other uh, may have purchased for you. And, and at one point you were rocking it because it was a status symbol and it was the hottest shit. Right, so we can go to Scumbag Sherm and ask him: Have you ever rocked any of Damon John's Fubu? Of course, man. For us, by us. Was it the Fat Albert, like the Fubu Platinum Collection? Oh, Jesus, he, he got no. that shit on. on I his still wear it right now. I still, I still got a Fubu shirt. <laughs> I'm not shit. fucking joking. That nigga yeah. still wear Fubu. They used to sell wear. Fubu at Mr. Ellis. I mean, you know, <laughs> for, for us, by us, by definition, it's black people walk own in. black people. But he a beast on Shark Tank now. I, exactly. So. He is nowadays. Will never know about Fubu. 
Hey, nah, I, I didn't buddy, wear. Buddy, buddy, picture day with Fubu. <laughs> <laughs> buddy, I didn't wear Fubu at his height though. No, yeah, you definitely did because you had nah. it on last week. Yeah, that yeah. shit was fucking hilarious. Hey, this nigga walked know, down the hey. stairs like he was like, "Oh, baby, I'm about King to kill him with this here. shit." <laughs> like, Sharon, what the fuck is that? That shit looked new. Like he freshly took the tags <laughs> off that bitch. The Shoppers World exclusive. <laughs> <in this place. laughs> Shoppers World still open? I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> You hear all these gross <laughs> allegations. This is what happens, right? That's right the o- they sell at Babuff, though. He went right over to the one on uh, Grand River and the Boulevard. And what uh, went at the Boulevard? And he went to that, that Shoppers <laughs> World over there. <laughs> and he was like, ooh, I'm about to get fresh. Killing them. Got some, hey, got hey. some Dada shoes. Dada. <laughs> Dada. No, no, hold on now. Don't try to play me You now. went to Northland after that? No. Nah. The skating rink, not the mall. Because we know that's Perry Ellis right. jeans on. Rest in Perry peace. Perry Ellis jeans. You had boots with the fur? I've never you done. You had some yeah, quiet yeah. dogs or some hush puppies? Yeah, the hush, hush puppies, puppies for Wallabies sure. Wallabies? With the, I've had, I've with done the bubble soles? Mm-hmm. I've done yes. wallows. You know? That's, that's but did you have a list. Turkish link on in your buddy buddy picture? <laughs> oh, in a biz- reverse Byzantine. You was getting money with the reverse, reverse one. No, no. You took it way back. Hair way, hair way oh, back. Oh, you had a hair bone uh-uh. that had knots in the back. That's hair why you kept it to the back. <laughs> not this year. Uh, not, to not, bring not my dark skin husband back. <laughs> yeah, bring to bring, back. To bring him back, in his defense, he's had Jordan 6s. And 11s, black and red 11s for hey, you niggas starting on when she know was what's happening. He right. knows what's happening. But did he have them when they originally came out or when they came out again? <laughs> Probably kids the, these the days will never know about time. the original. It's going to be OG. So we're going to talk about Sharon's <laughs> FUBU. We're going to ask Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about your FUBU? Hey, I like my FUBU. Uh, Fuck I remember, y'all. Uh, back in the day, I had a uh, FUBU. Uh, what was it like? The they used to have what was not the velour suit. What was they called? What is that? Velvet? Track suit. Was yeah, that? like a little track suit, but uh, it was like uh, like fleece, like fleece. fleece. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember had fleece football. Yeah, I had a fleece football <laughs> joint. You remember that shit? <laughs> I ain't like you done because I used to rock the shit out that bitch. Because <laughs> back in the day, it used to be broke as fuck. Yeah, so yeah. I had like one fresh ass outfit for every quarter and shit. Quarter. So that was the one I used to wear that shit every fucking week. So look, I I, I bit into the hype beast mode way back in the day before it was called a hype beast, right? I had the FUBU 05 jersey. Mm. But I hated that fucking Jamaican fade shit where like a nigga be like on some Masha <laughs> Tuck shit up here and it'd be like pink and orange and yellow to fade to fucking yep. whatever. I was like, fuck all that. I need some neutral shit. So I had like navy to gray to like dark silver fade. And I think dark that shit silver. is still hanging up somewhere and I'm going to put up a picture. You, you probably wore that shit one time and realized. I you take a picture of that for Buddy Buddy Picture Day? I wore that one time. Buddy to Buddy Picture Day. No. Never that. I wore that one time to lunch and was like, yo, nigga, you know FUBU is about to go out of style. I was like, yeah, it is. $65, ma. Thanks a lot. This Listen, is some it's, bullshit. It's nothing like lunchtime that'll let you know you fucked up. That you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> that, you'll, that, you'll, that you'll never you'll wear never that shit that ever again. again. Like, uh, ever. Uh-oh. Lala. FUBU at all? Ever? Any FUBU? FUBU wasn't for girls. Okay, there it is. I thought they fought like FUBU. Didn't they do like FUBU gear or FUBU something? I thought Fubu they was just... never for girls. We had Jabos. No, we got we get to that. We get to that. We get to that. We get to that. So no Fubu for girls. No. Mark Echo. No I'll start this off right here. I had a Mark Echo varsity jacket. And the shit had it was chenille. For you niggas that don't know what chenille is. It's like a chenille. Not chenille, but chenille. Not chenille, oh, okay. but chenille. It was I don't, chenille. I don't fully like know the, what fu- the fuzzy <laughs> shit. The fuzzy shit on the varsity let, jacket. Let the listeners from Idaho know what the fuck <laughs> chenille is. I'm sure they don't know. Nigga, if, if we have any listeners for Idaho, nigga. You the hoe. You the hoe. Oh okay. God. It was a, it was a chenille like chest breast shit, right? With the fox leather. Oh, okay. Fox leather. All right. It had, it had the black leather, so it was black chenille with black leather sleeves, and it had like echo. It had the E C on a one joint, and then the K O on the other. So when you put the shit together, it was like oh. echo with its button, right? Oh. And it had the rhino on the back of that bitch. I thought I was that nigga because I used to wear it with a hoodie, black Nike hoodie and the whole nine and was that guy. Any Mark Echo? Were you walking around with rhino jeans, sure? No, I couldn't do rhino jeans. Like, How does that even sound? <laughs> rhino jeans. No. You didn't have Pause. any Mark Echo in your no. collection? Pause. I didn't have any Echo, no. Regular ass time? I'm sure I had Super some in there somewhere. You had a shirt, bro. I remember a t-shirt or something. I had some Yeah, t-shirt. Stuff. You had the white t-shirts. I, now I'm thinking about it. I could probably grab that shit and say this is crazy. It was a navy blue Mark Echo shirt in neon green fucking writing that said like Mark and an Echo all in one like spot on his chest. Why did you grab your chest right there though? Because that's where it was at right here. 
You, know, you can't let niggas know it wasn't sloppy. It went all like right here. It was like right here. Wait, why, why do you still have this? I have no idea. <laughs> Vintage. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Somebody's going to buy it. Kids these days. And it was that shit know. where you're buying like a fucking 3X. So it's that shit was worth like. Something yeah, that shit was like dumbass big. Like Not it was like dumbass. Like I, pro- I sincerely probably heard that shit upstairs. I'm bringing it downstairs. Y'all niggas going to be like, oh Lord, mm. Mark Echo. Straight so you gonna hang the echo up with the jerseys? I might. I just might. And the do fubu? It. And the fubu. I just might do it because I because I have it. These niggas, their shit got destroyed. Oh. Their, their mothers. <laughs> is that not, is that a Mark Echo That's shirt? A definitely Mark Echo shirt. Regular ass time is showing us a white shirt <laughs> with a like, red. <laughs> is that like ninety nine? With a red. Uh, with a red. Uh, that was probably what back that ass up. Uh, yeah, exactly. Listen, Mark records. Echo was that nigga back in the day, dog. Okay. Definitely. I'm, I'm going to bring this Mark Echo shirt down here and show y'all. And Freshly Made's Beast is going to get captured. And, he's, and y'all going to be like, what in the fuck? Mm-mm. But it's okay. Moving on. Sean John. Everybody here has Sean John. That's I'm sure. Sean John was not for girls. They had Sean John velour suits for girls. No, we was wearing Juicy Couture. <laughs> With well, Juicy across your butt. Well, shout out to Mr. Allen's and the Sean John shirt. Uh, the, the fucking. Remember how they had like, okay, so it was a shirt. And then Sean John had the gummy shirt. Where like the shit was raised in 3D mm. and it was Sean John on it. I didn't get that shirt. I got the velour suit. It was all black. I had the b- velour pull up, the zip up hoodie with the velour pants. Mm. That was Sean John. And I got it from Mr. Allen's. <laughs> oh, we ain't got the coochie yet. Right? No, we ain't got yeah, okay. put that shit back, nigga. Okay. Sure. Okay. Any Sean John? Yeah, I had a few items, Sean John. I always liked Sean John. I like Yeah, remember, remember remember had like remember had Sean John writing? And they had like mm. London, Tokyo. Shit on Paris, the bottom, you yeah, remember that? All that, yeah. Um, Puffy, I give it to him. Sean John was kind of like it was a little boundary crossing in the sense where you know you is a little. It felt a little more upscale than the average type shit. So yeah, it did. You know, some of that shit was dope. Some Regular last time, Sean John. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What'd you have, nigga? Uh, <laughs> I can't remember. I had something. Yeah, so some. I, I had Sean John you, older. You, you, you look like older the, you look like the nigga John. that had that that hat. That fucking like KKK ass hat that like sits on <laughs> the what? That fucking gray ass hat and white lettering with, with Sean John. You look like that nigga that would the wear that gray hat with the but yeah. He says the KKK. <laughs> you knew exactly what I was talking about. You you probably had that hat. The gray you had wizard. the hat. Had to show me a picture. Of that. Yeah, I'm gonna show it. Show me a picture of that. <laughs> you had the gray. <laughs> <laughs> the Grand Wizard Sean John. You had the Grand Wizard oh. Sean John, dog. I can see your ass in that shit. I'll try to pitch with some Sean John jeans. Them nigga, them jeans was eighty four dollars. It was like a. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So bring see, a, no, a let's bring the shit up later, nigga. It was like a bucket hat. You yep. could flip it up. Yep. It was velour like a Kango. Yep. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. You had <laughs> yeah. Tom. Regular ass Tom had one of those. I remember seeing. Oh, you talking about that hat you wore last week? No, no, oh, bitch. Oh, oh, the one that's upstairs oh, with the flaps. Kill yourself. Oh, you two talking times. about that one? Oh, say you ain't got that hat. Say you didn't wear that hat. You get that hat. Sally Jesse Raphael. Sally Jesse Raphael. She said a bucket hat with a flip, bitch. Yeah, not okay, the goddamn uh, hunting hat. Not the uh, not the Eric Munson hat. I think, motherfucker. I think we had uh, we got what pics of Tika at a I think it was a Heat Factories yeah, game yeah. with a bucket hat on. Mm-hmm. I think. That's all. That's also a negative. <laughs> oh, oh. oh. I, you want to try it again? I had try a, one more time. I had a Detroit Hustlers hat on. No, you did not. No, you did not. Triple Five Soul was for losers. Every time I saw Triple Five Soul, it was in a, uh, it was in a, it was in a double XL or a fucking uh, what's the name magazine, and it, it had the it had the Road Runner and it had the clips in there. Wasn't Tri- that who, who the fuck? No, Triple Five Soul. Who the fuck wore Triple Five Soul? I, I knew that. about Triple Fat Goose. I didn't know about no Triple Five Soul. I don't even remember soul. that. I do. Look it up. Triple Five. It had it had it clips. It had the clips in there, and that's what it was. Uh, <laughs> Joe Boxer. Shout out to my mom for buying Joe Boxer smiley face draws. Never had that. With a big I smiley face. I thought that was just white people stuff. Nope. No, it was nigga shit too. I had no. Joe Boxer boxer Never. briefs. That's what introduced me to boxer with briefs. Was Joe Boxer. Face. Right. I had a smiley uh, yeah. face right on my penis. So every time somebody take my drawers down, smiley face. Hello. Okay. Good for you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Pepe <laughs> jeans was for women. Pepe. Yeah. Pepe. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, did you have Pepe jeans, Lala? I did have Pepe. What did you have? Like the the, the stone washed denim the, the, with the white, the jeans and the jacket to match mm-hmm. and a t shirt. So it was like guess Pepe, yep. Tommy Hill figure girl. We're gonna get to all that. But she had Pepe. Parasuko. Mm. But my butt wasn't big enough for Parasuko. Right yeah, you had so that, that. You had that wide. I had no ass at all. She had that nat disease. Still no ass at all. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> you just had somebody work it out. It's all right. No, but, I uh, still have it. Hey, hey, big nigga. Uh, Freshly made beats. Get the fuck out of the way. Uh, <laughs> Pele Pele. 
So Pelly Pelly clothes. Buying these bitches leathers and Pelly Pelly clothes. Yep. I didn't have anything Pelly Pelly. Right last time? No, I never. I never. never. Right. Sure. Like it. Yeah, you had, had your had daddy's a, coat. I had a use, right, a used <laughs> Pelly coat. Yeah, but it was Pelly it. and uh, Fairlings. Right. He was doing it way Donna Sex. Extra Donna, warm. Donna that, that, extra warm. That winter shit. He was extra warm. So <laughs> extra, <laughs> extra warm. <laughs> so yeah, Perry, Perry Ellis. Did you have any Perry Ellis? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You had Perry Ellis? Coat, some tees, some pants. Yeah, yeah. fired up Perry Ellis. No, nah. I remember it. I sold Perry Ellis. I never wore it. Yeah, I so do y'all remember Mosi? Mo Blackwell? I remember Mosi. I thought it was Mosi. It was Mosi or was it Moschino? No, it was Mosi. Mm. Well, they're both M-O-C-I. things. M O C I. Yeah, yeah, that was. Black. But that was Detroit based. I was Detroit. So Oakley, I had sunglasses. Never. Nobody never. was wearing sunglasses never. when we were had, in school. Uh, only reason I wore Oakley sunglasses is because Michael Jordan had sunglasses. That was Oakley. He had them goddamn Predator cop glasses. <laughs> 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 I'm going to catch your ass two miles over. Listen, listen 1996, like, yeah. I had Oakleys because Michael Jordan wore Oakleys to the goddamn Bulls You was like in middle school in 96, That's okay, bro. but I had them shits. They was, they was copper with the black shits. And then I sat on them bitches and cried like a fucking kid because it was like $189. You was a kid. Mm, and yeah. I was, that was, yeah. I was. <laughs> Never. Sherman's a, a nigga that had blue block. With a little mm. string around him. Never. Uh, mm-hmm. And also, He's too. To front, see, yeah. uh, so, uh, look, everybody in this room had guests. Yes. Oh, yes. Except for Sherm. Mm-hmm. No, I had guests. Yeah. What you have, guests, nigga? You guess what I'm wearing? I had. <laughs> you had the green outfit with the the, the, the backwards triangle. Nigga, nigga, with I, the, listen, I had the, the wrong st- question mark. I, on that I had bitch. the stone wash. You had the, uh, the fucking Mexican a, question mark. I have a backwards shit. triangle. Isn't yeah. it still a triangle? I mean, no, no, I, it's turned the wrong way. I, the question I, I marks upside down. Like, like, look, speaking this way or is this way? It's still a still a triangle. You know what I mean? That motherfucker's a diamond. It's not a triangle. This is a diamond. This is a triangle. It's still a triangle. All I know is his shit was bogus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you got your shit from the who got their shit from the abyss? No, no don't act like y'all don't know abyss. about no. the abyss. Regular ass, regular ass uh, top. Dwight. No, never mind. Or Dwight, Dwight. the Boosters of Detroit. Oh, Dwight. Nah. Listen, nah, I, I that sounds like something they did on Limbo. Listen, I had, I had guess. About that. It was close. <laughs> it was on Puritan. I had, I had, on Puritan. I had the black okay. stone wash. I definitely guess. wasn't on Puritan. Right. I had to guess stone jeans and a and jacket. Mm-hmm. And the jacket always You didn't have a shirt? I didn't have a shirt Because uh, that bitch fit short as fuck So I was like Yo I'm gonna get a large And all that shit was like Oh belly top I was like god damn I'm gonna get an extra large And I was like Alright it drops a little bit But you had to take your shit to the cleaner What kind of belt did you have? A Gucci belt No coach Listen It was Gucci Gucci wasn't back then Listen It was my dad's Gucci belt I'm about to say Flossing ass nigga <laughs> What? Super He just didn't know A Gucci know. belt was like, star They was like That's what he had What's shit. that? And I was yeah. like Don't worry about it It's Gucci Belt was big as fuck. It was like a goddamn 38 belt. I needed a 32. I'm like, <laughs> trying to pull it tight. Iceberg. Never had it. Wait a minute. How did you just pass the girls? Right. Girls had guests. Yeah. And they all and they always had the whole outfit. I remember seeing the red jeans with the red jacket with the white shirt and the red logo. Right. And we had a red coach belt and a red coach bag. <sighs> White shoes, white coach black, white coach belt, white shirt, white shoes. Oh, rich K-Swiss ass motherfuckers! Or Air Force Ones. Money. They were K Swiss classic. They had a forty four dollar yeah. shoe on with an eighty eight dollar pant and a sixty six dollar jacket. No, 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 no. Thirty four dollar jacket. Co- if you got your jacket from Saint La Vie, it was way more. We used to have to borrow the jacket. <laughs> yes. The Listen, all I know is I couldn't keep up with all them goddamn colors. And if you went to Northland Skating Ring, you had to be on fleek. All them goddamn colors. Mm-hmm. I was like, how are niggas getting money? I'm wearing Monday's shirt Thursday. <laughs> and I'm wearing Tuesday's jeans Friday. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, Iceberg. Never got the Iceberg. Never. I had Iceberg. You rich ass motherfucker. We went to the Porous High, uh, oh. the Porous oh, High the School Porous. Homecoming. Yo, fuck the Porous because we lost uh, Cast Tech to the Porous. Well, Aztec. That's what mm. you get. Whoa. Um, but well. Y'all had a nigga that was 25 Whoa. pretending he was 15. I might. You, you, Whoa. I fight yeah. guys. Let's go. I can tell. Yep. <laughs> show. Show. <laughs> Intel. No, I ain't going to be talking about Cast like yeah, you ain't talking about the green and white. Uh, no. Aztec is still Aztec. Fuck the Porsche. Y'all ain't got no school no more. I didn't even go to the Porsche, so it doesn't matter to me. She went to, I, I went to CMA. Right. They ain't got that either. Oh, you want to call it CM Gay? Uh, call it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, though. We still smart than <laughs> y'all. Know, Aztec. Anywho. Mm-hmm. Y'all was called name, Aztec. Name a genius it's, from there. LaTondra Chantel. <laughs> Just like some CMA niggas. Hold on, Tom. You yeah, walk, me, you, you me. walk right into me that and one, me. Though. Come on, okay. Tom. My Come buddy, on. Right. wherever I go. <laughs> Come on. What is your go. highest level of completed education? Wow. Oh. Oh. Damn. A A L I Y A A. 
Wow. <laughs> we don't talk about what time does. Right. Oh, okay. We can't talk yeah, about we what time the t- Yeah, whatever time does. It's first oh, okay. rule of Fight Club. Yeah. You don't talk about Fight Club. Yeah, we can't talk about yeah, you don't talk about we, we don't talk Listen, about that. We fight. Just because you got Tupac on your shirt don't mean you a gangster. Oh, okay. shit. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. Anywho. Next topic. These women <laughs> had Iceberg. I never had Iceberg. Iceberg's too expensive. Bro. Iceberg was too expensive because I went to Somerset and saw a goddamn... Was Tweety Bird, Donald Duck. A Goofy. A Goofy Bucks Bunny. It was like $200 for a t-shirt. Nigga, it was like $600. Like, my daddy was the police at the time. I had Cardi's. Shit. Shit, oh, my mom was the police at the time. I didn't have, have shit. <laughs> I didn't have I shit. I still have either. those cards to this day. I had bre- mm. bread for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> Thank you. Shit. Goddamn car, boy, Iceberg. Mix. I wish you I would have asked. Ask, I you wish the ass tech and they get free lunch. Hell no. Hell no. Hell. Hugo I Boss. Would, I had the cologne. Never had the uh, outfit. <laughs> 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 you the epitome of light skinned people, right? Fat now. farm. I was a fat farm guy. Yeah, I did. Too. I had Russell that Simmons. I supported. I had the jean outfit. All right, had jean outfit, and I had a fat farm t shirt, which was too goddamn big. But it was a black t shirt. Well, all this stuff was big. Yeah, everybody wore it. It was big as fuck. But look, they it had like the like a fucking farm or something like a legit <laughs> farm on that shit. <laughs> yeah, that's remember chicken. it was like, I remember that. Remember that? I remember it was like that. And look, and it showed the fat farm flag. <laughs> it was like old McDonald's. And it showed like <laughs> some wheat grass and some other <laughs> shit in the back. You didn't have no tails with it. No, I thought I was that nigga because I was like. Fat farm, bitch. <laughs> you ain't got this, Mr. Allen's special. <laughs> so then you have to say baby fat, right? Okay, so Kamora Lee, baby fat, a little kitty. That was a pussy wear. Silence. <laughs> <laughs> Insert cricket sound. Yeah. It was crickets. like baby fat and apple bottom at the same time. I think. No, Nelly was wack. Uh, that was Nelly, Nelly shit, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nelly yeah. came out with a women's wear. No, and you know what? And but all the girls too. with a fat it's booty popcorn. wore apple bottoms. I no, never wore I, apple bottoms because I got a grape seat. But yeah, so. yeah. Because I saw some apple shit apple called. What was this shit called for me? Uh, viral tech. Vocal. Yeah. Vocal. Nobody wore that. Yeah. That's that's like. That's like, that G- on there. that's like that G unit shit with some goddamn multicolor shit on the goddamn strip. Right, but it was like made like a bulletproof vest, but it was a beater. Extra gay. Yeah, extra extra Ham and Jerry. Nah, nah. Ham and Jerry. Ham and Jerry. Nah. Hansen I never had. We're going to skip over that. Just to wear the kicks. Uh, Fresh, you had lugs, right? Lugs had wallabies, yeah. <laughs> what happened to that, to that boy? boy. <laughs> <laughs> they look like the Teddy <laughs> Repskin boots to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your friend to the end. Teddy Rusty Roots. P and B Nation was also a uh, like a double Proud XL. Nubian Brothers. Proud, like I'm about to say that wasn't that the, like the all the way back of the back of the back. It was of the, the double back XL. Of the it was like Shopper's World special. Yeah, yeah right. No, all right. So Wu Wear that nigga Fresh definitely had a Wu Wear shirt. Yeah. What is <laughs> like? Yeah, he had Wu Tang. He had a yellow shirt with black lettering. It was, it was Wu Tang. Wu- it was Wu Tang. Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to I fuck with. Inspect the deck. Fucking. Goddamn! What's all them niggas? Rizzo the Jizzo the fucking. Go ahead, Sherman. Don't yeah, don't you a lot do of it. Them niggas. Don't know. fuck with Wu. I didn't. I didn't fuck with Wu. But this is my favorite one. Okay, Eddie fucking Bauer. Tom, yes. tell us about it. Oh yeah, I had that shit. Like, oh, uh, yeah. You still have it now, nigga. My Let's go. Got a, uh, hey, Eddie Bauer truck. She had got one of. Okay. She had got one of them fucking Eddie Bauer the uh, credit cards. The little geese. She went crazy in that. The ducks. She walked in that bitch like, oh, I got him today. I'm fucking like regular ass time. This is how he got his name. Regular ass time, he's trying to wear Tupac shirts now, but he still has button down corduroy, uh-huh. motherfucking lumberjack Eddie Bauer shirts. So he dressed like the listen, Teddy Ruskin. He, he drives an Eddie Bauer truck. Shut up. No, I promise you not. I, I listen. I kid this you not. Eddie Bauer edition. Listen, the Eddie Bauer edition truck he drives. Vintage. He has Eddie Bauer comforter sheet sets. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Or Sears. His towels, washcloths, and finger towels are all Eddie Bauer with if the they're geese. Not canon, they're not listen, right. listen, listen, listen. They have a TA on them bitches embroidered. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. Listen, wait, wait, wait. The nigga still has Eddie Bauer cologne. <laughs> and he wears goddamn turtlenecks in the winter Ooh, with the EB on them. Listen, Tom's not denying so anything. So how do you come back from that, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> like, he's not denying I'm just, I'm just anything. So, I'm like. so used to it by now. So <laughs> okay. it's just like, I, got, I, just, I just let it Are those Eddie Bauer glasses that you have on time? I just, just let it roll. roll. Because not roll. once in my life has any of you niggas ever seen me wear oh, Eddie oh, Bauer. I see you. Know. Oh, I see no, you. I passed the Eddie Bauer Explorer when I walked in this Nigga, And it was definitely this niggas. That was his Thursday car. That's his recording car right there. Uh, <laughs> like I said, the towels with the border. <laughs> Finger wash and body. Oh you got one uh, to say T, the other say A. A, oh. yeah, that's right. <laughs> Put the bitches together, T-A. <laughs> <laughs> I've never worn Gap. 
Ever. What? Ever. You didn't fall into the gap? Because it's up there. That was a 90s thing. Oh, 80s, 90s thing. Like, why don't you have Melissa's up there? Melissa's? What's, what's oh, Melissa's? The, shoes. the plastic shoes. Is that like oh. jellies? Is yeah. That- yeah. Jellies. Yeah. Yeah. Why is all this boy related? No. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know about that. Maurice, I said, the, oh, right. Okay, covers. we'll get into that. Coogee. I can't see the board as you can see, so I'm depending totally Coogee. on y'all. I can right see now. y'all some Coogee motherfuckers right there. What oh. about Gigi Hunter? Yeah. Gigi, oh. the crochet dresses. I haven't heard about that in a long time. So what you to is that say? like Chloe's? Yo. No, I'm vintage. <laughs> vintage like, don't crack. I'm 34 and I don't give a fuck. Ow. Okay. Ow. Just know that I never. It was a lot back then going on. We probably need Coogee. more. It wasn't nothing wrong. I couldn't afford that shit. Oh, okay. I'm so mad. I was like, I was like man, fuck oh. that, that, fuck that nigga, true. Paul. Right, L- listen, because his mama rich. We didn't say Chantel from the G Spot was yeah. in the building. And oh, we just, didn't say that earlier. They, no, we Show both. Chantel is here. She, yeah, she was chilling, but now. They both front known the light skinned lord. So yeah, that's cool. Both front on the light skinned lord. <laughs> Gucci, listen. <laughs> Gucci. Oh. Listen, Gucci. Oh. I had a Gucci belt. That was my dad's. But it wasn't George. That wore it once. It doesn't matter. It got passed down to me. And I stunned it. Okay. So it's, where's it now? It's upstairs in the shoe box. <laughs> you didn't pass it down? It's in a Nike up tempo <laughs> box. <laughs> Kids aren't old enough yet. They'll get it. <laughs> One day. Daddy had a hundred and ninety five dollar belt. Yes, I did, son. <laughs> yes. It's probably like seven dollars now. Ooh. Woody woo woo. Anyway, a uh, starter. Yes. I had a goddamn Dallas Cowboy course, starter. If you didn't have half a starter, zip. I had on. a half zip. So the pullover, yep. you know, the half zip joint. It had Dallas Cowboys right here and the half zip. With the pocket in the front. With yep. the pockets mm-hmm. in the motherfucker front. So I had the Pistons one mm-hmm. with the green heels. It was me your and my brother. No, it was mine. <laughs> I had one. My daddy had one and my brother had one. Because mm-hmm. them cannons was getting money. <laughs> mm-hmm. I had a Phoenix Suns. Phoenix Suns. Do you know who's on the Phoenix Suns? I was tell? obsessed with Charles Barkley at the time. Boom. Oh, Spitting ass. Nigga. Boom. Mm-hmm. But yes, I did. I had the half zip one, and I also had the one that fully zipped down. Oh, big old. She was rich. She was rich. On the back. Yes. Yep. Remember race car jacket? Yep. I don't know. No, fuck the race car jacket. That was Why? Wow, you didn't have one? Nope. I sold them. <laughs> Are you I talking about the, the, the Tide and the M&M's? Yeah, yes. and M&M's. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. I used to front and hate on niggas that had them. I wanted one so bad. No, you had to have a first down with the Wallabies that match. Listen. I had a first down for sure. No, I had the Tupac. Had, Brenda's had a baby you starter. You one down, you know nigga. Oh, I had all that. You thought it was first, but it was one. It was definitely uh, <laughs> first. What? <laughs> I did the same thing, but anyway. Yeah, it's the same thing, baby. First down, one down. It's all... It's that's all the same shit. Anyway, anyway. anyway. Man, fuck, fuck them niggas with you them jackets. You a Beverly Hills polo club style. ass nigga, ain't you? <laughs> You'll never see me in no assassin shit, bitch. Don't ever play yourself. Oof. This that's is real polo. Listen. Yeah, no, it's listen, definitely listen, not. Listen, no. listen. It wasn't fake polo. U.S. 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 Assassin. Polo assassin. U.S. P.A. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, fuck that shit. No, never. That's not what Jeezy was yelling on. My mom tried to buy that shit one day. I'm like, take this back. This is not fucking polo. I am not wearing this. Who is this nigga on the horse? buy me this? There'd be like three people on the shirt playing Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they playing dominoes. Like, no. fuck this shit. We Listen, get off. No, fuck USAPA, okay? Mm-hmm. They have an actual That's story, new, by the way. Though. No, 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 it's not new. It's old. That was back for boys? It's nah, bad. my mom used to try to front on me in the 90s with that. I'm like, nah, man, that's not polo. The nigga Sharon was, that's US was polo. trying to stitch like, on real oh, polo. That's not the same. So she thought that was, Jeezy yep. was yelling USDA, but yep. it was not USPA. It was USPA. <laughs> USDA, ain't that like, that's some grade A shit. Yeah, that's some like farmer shit or some shit. Yeah. No, that's meat. <laughs> she meat. thought she was he was yelling meat, but yeah, not yelling meat. Like, I don't want him to yell meat. Yeah. I'm glad he wasn't yelling yeah, meat. Yeah, meat. No, he was. Jesus oh. said USDA. All I'm mm. saying is, mm. fuck them niggas with them racing logo jackets. What's wrong? Why? Jeff, Jeff, Jeff Gordon, the M and M's, Butterfingers, and all that bullshit because you no niggas don't look at NASCAR first and foremost. We look at whatever is hot. Listen, hot. Gets cold, fresh, lasts forever. That's why y'all had USPA. Never, <laughs> ne- never boys, never boys. See, boys got more fake shit than girls do. Never boys. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Girls don't have USPA. Or y'all got FUPA. sons and sons too. Y'all got FUPA. We don't have FUPA. Like y'all that's FUPA. FUPA. <laughs> you know what the FUPA is, right? You know that's that's the, upper pussy area. It's the fat over the pussy. But still, it's no FUPA. It's just FUBU. I've never, never heard of that. You never heard of the FUBU? That's the first That's time I heard of that one. You got you to watch, you, you gotta watch them now. Greeks. I know, right? You got to watch them Greeks. They got that FUPA. All right, I got you. Fat over that pussy. 
<laughs> he might okay. like that. He I, might. I, I, I don't like it. You got to lift I, it up and look I, through I shit. I haven't said anything, but, you know. You put it on your on your torso? I don't no. know nothing about that. Um, uh, I don't know about fake. Food. I know I know about Nautica because you had that van. Didn't well, who you? doesn't know about? But Nautica? if you did have a Nautica jacket with the the thing on it that floated, <laughs> well, Nautica was not real. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about the, the orange floaty. Right? The orange floaty. Yeah, yes. Yeah, 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 Can sure. I tell you a story about Nautica? Go. All right. Light skin lord, Nautica jacket. Okay, I have my uncle shit on. Once again, hand me down. Who gives a fuck? It was the puffy ass coat, right? The red boy with the cream insides. I was thought I was that nigga because it was like no, to cut, right? right? It was <laughs> not to cut, right? Right? Because remember, it was like the sleeves was like like left sleeve was like no, and then the right sleeve was like to cut, right? Yep. I'm walking. I'm literally one block away from my home, okay, and I'm on the right side of the street in Detroit. I see like five niggas on like the left side of the street and looking at me talking Bitch, shit. Give yeah, me your yeah. jacket. And then I'm walking. And I was never told to walk on my head down. I was like, fuck that. Keep your head up, nigga. Right? So I keep my head up. I'm looking at niggas. Ooh, niggas looking right back at me, right? I'm like, as long as I got my head up, I'm going to be good. Nah, fuck that. These I'm walking. And as I'm walking, that. these niggas is like, oh, man, let's go get these niggas. They get, get quiet. And I was like, oh, shit, I'm about to get jumped. And I realized it. But I'm on this block, Marilyn, and I notice somebody that stays there, right? So my instinct is like, think quick, nigga. Bam. Go to Mr. Jackson's house. Mr. Ring the doorbell. Jackson. Ring the doorbell, right? I'm like, okay, these niggas are clearly going to go away because I'm at a fucking house, right? No, these whole ass niggas stayed there to see what I was doing, right? <laughs> so look, I ring the doorbell to Mr. Jackson's house. Mr. Jackson actually opened the door and I was like, hey. Uh, Mr. Jackson's like, hey, Tico, what's going on? I was like, hey, is Kari here? He's like, no, he ain't home from school yet. I'm like, fuck, okay. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, I don't want to be no bitch. So I was like, he's like, is everything okay? I'm like, yeah, everything's okay. I don't want to be no fuck nigga like, no, they're trying to jump me, right? So I'm like, he's like, all right, I'll let Kari know you came by. All right. <laughs> so the nigga closed the door, right? Boof. So I'm standing at the door, looking at the door like, fuck. <laughs> I don't look over my shoulder. And niggas are still plotting, right? So I'm like, if I gun it four houses down to Daniel's house, he's got a fence that I can jump and we're in the alley. Fuck it. Literally take off from Mr. Jackson's goddamn. I jump. He's got like six steps. I jump all six steps. Clear them bitches. Woo. Jump off. Mr. Jackson steps, go down to Daniel's house, get in his backyard. By this time, niggas is like, go. The five niggas across the street is running, right? I'm already like, oh, I'm already huffing it, right? <laughs> I throw my fucking backpack over that fence. I clear it. I don't even jump and get a couple crawls. I clear that bitch. I could have been an Olympic fucking whoop. Woo! <laughs> clear, it, <laughs> clear that bitch, get my bag, go four, four houses down, down the alley in Detroit. Jump over my fence to get to my house. I already have my keys in my pocket. I'm like, oh shit, three keys. Go, go, got the key. Go, key. Ah, ah. Left, go right on the bottom half. Go right, on, uh, go left on the other half. Bah, bah, bah. Cool. Get in. <laughs> 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 Breath like crazy, right? I go to peek through my front blinds. Niggas is like, where the fuck this nigga go? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the house. <laughs> <laughs> and close the blinds. Safe. That's crazy. Nautica, real story. Nah. So they didn't take it that day. Yeah, <laughs> to the no, the no, no, no. They ain't taking no days. I was like, Mom, you picking me up from school. I can't do this shit. <laughs> I was about to get my ass whooped. I'm goddamn seven blocks away from the house. About to get robbed <laughs> by a group of niggas across the street. Never happened ever again. That was the scariest shit in my life. What area did you grow up in? I At that time, I was on uh, Mr. U of D Mercy. I was right there on Wildermere and Six Mile. I went to UAD inside the gates. I yeah, never came we were outside. outside. <laughs> exactly. I was outside the gates and never walking to them. Out. Fuck that Sunoco gas station too because there's another goddamn story about me leaving my bike in there trying to get some goddamn barbecue <laughs> chips and a motherfucking cream soda and my homeboy like, just leave it here. It's fine. And I'm like, all right, cool. And me bearing my fucking light skin ass, I'm looking outside I'm like, no, it ain't fine. And I'm trying to pay this Chaldean <laughs> motherfucker and next thing I know, two niggas roll up in the goddamn, uh, what's the shit that we like? Grand fucking what? Grand uh, Prix? Nope. Grand Am? Nope. Cutlass? Cuddy, dude, what's Cuddy. the colors? What's the what? Come on, nigga, oh, Grand, Grand National. National. Yeah. Two niggas roll up in the Grand National, and I'm like, fuck these chips in this pot. <laughs> and, I, and I run out, right? And me and the nigga, this is a true story, internet. <laughs> me and the nigga, I bust out the goddamn door, and me and the nigga meet, and we're like, he's got my bike, like, uh, and I've got like, uh, uh. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> and, we're, and I'm a little nigga. This is probably a grown nigga in the Grand National, and we're like, uh, 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 uh. And, I'm, and he's like, as the car, like, man, fuck that little nigga, man, come on. And I'm like, oh, 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 oh. He's like, and I'm eight, and eight, let's go. He's like, nigga, you lucky. All your life you had to fight. I was like, I was like, 
<laughs> and my homeboy like, why you didn't get your chips, nigga? <laughs> I'm like, fuck them chips and them cream soda, nigga. I ain't never coming back with your ass. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> so can we do a story about light-skinned men versus... Light skinned women. Fuck that nigga in the Grand National. If I ever see you and a nigga that stole my Huffy Six Sonic in Oak Park, fuck you too. Because I missed my. You said UND. UND is nowhere near Oak Park. This is another time. (laughs) Nigga tried to steal my bike. Stole my bike. Huffy Six Sonic. Internet's Google Huffy (laughs) H H U F F Y 6, the number 6, Sonic. Huffy Six Sonic. I had a plate on that bitch. My uncle engraved the motherfucker. (laughs) Nigga stole that shit out of my goddamn shed. Cause niggas didn't put a motherfucking ten dollar lock on this bitch and was like, oh, ain't nobody gonna come in here. I'm riding around the hood in a goddamn Huffy Six Sonic. Yeah, Tico's cool. He's fucking sweet. He got a Huffy Six Sonic. Nigga steal my shit the next day. Painted that bitch gold and took the goddamn plate off of it. And the nigga was like, yeah, that nigga Tehran got your goddamn Huffy Six Sonic on Six Mile. How what? old was you with this bike? Probably like eleven. <laughs> Oh Huffy Six Sonic. I'm going to get one as a grown ass man. <laughs> and, so that's, and ride, and that, and ride that bitch. Because a you, nigga. Are you going to st- get a bell in a lot? Listen, it had a whole shield on that bitch. <laughs> Google Huffy Six Sonic. It had the that's guards, my motherfucking right? bike right there. Oh, a nigga man. stole my bike, ripped all that shit off, and painted it gold. You big man. And, and, my, and my, engraved, my uncle engraved it. So the engraving's not going to go away because it's on metal. It's like Tico was on that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're getting away from the topic of. Uh, Brands and shit, because enough of my struggles that I'm about to write a book on. <laughs> Fuck niggas, it's like my Huffy Six Sonic. Yeah, Six Sonic struggles. The six Sonic struggles. That bike was the shit, by the way. Six <laughs> gears. <laughs> With a shield. That's Why got did that a... make the list? I was about to say, he was jumping, uh, jumping driveway curbs and everything. <laughs> all that shit, nigga. Dirt mounds. I had a shield to protect me. All that shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you mentioned Jabot. Any, any Jabot wear? Yes. What'd you have, Jabot? I got a Jabot picture right here. Oh, shit. Niggas bringing up old ass Throwback Thursdays. Wow. Was it the Cash Money era Jabot? Yes, yeah, with the okay. Reeboks to match it. Tease, bows, and reeds. Tease, yeah. bows, yes. and reeds. <laughs> Listen, the only reason I wore Jabot is because DJ Quick talked about it. No, only reason why I wore Jabot is because Lil Wayne talked about it. See? And I'm 100 a- degrees. DJ DJ Quick said he had the uh, remember he was like the Jabot outfit with the with the gray one with the burgundy trim it fit me night because I'm a I'm a something I mean now, now Jabot Jabot ended up having the the full jean and jacket combination too right you didn't yeah get money if you didn't have the jeans and the jacket that's right you had to get the jacket. did you know you how had to, to have the jeans jacket and the Reebok did you know how to pronounce slaved. wait mm-hmm. did you know how to pronounce the full name no it was like Francois. it was like Mar- Maurice Francois Jabot. <laughs> Mm, yeah. I used to be like, what the fuck? Martha, Francis, and Jabot. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Gerard. Gerard. <laughs> what is this shit? Like, Gerard on yeah, yeah. his right. I used to be like, you make clothes. Yeah, what <laughs> shit? What is Math Reese for Fossa for Jabot? I didn't know what the fuck that was. Niggas had that shit on. Couldn't even pronounce it. This shit sound fancy. It's sound fancy. <laughs> but everybody, all the girls got their shit from Say La Vie. Say La Vie. I remember going to Northland and getting it at uh, uh, Marshall Fields before it was Macy's. Mm-hmm. Marshall Fields. I, I remember when it was Hudson's. I remember when it was Hudson's too, nigga. Mm-hmm. But it was Hudson's. It was Hudson's and Marshall Fields, then yeah. Macy's. Yeah. Marshall Fields. Sell them dry ass sugar cookies. That's another story. North Face never had it. Nah. It's Why too- didn't First Down make the list? First Down. That, that, was, that was the code, right? Shit. First Down and Charlotte. No, that was. National. That was Donna Sachs. My brother had a fucking Shirley, and I was like, you know what? Fuck this nigga. I still have, <laughs> in real life, I still have my Shirley. From high school. <laughs> hey, Shirley, why'd you say? This nigga. Hey, why'd you say fuck this nigga with the Shirley? Nah, you know Shirley's was dope. I was just mad I ain't have one, bro. That was, I was real upset. life pilot jacket. I, I still mad. have mine from high school, and Niggas, I still can't fit that bitch. And they still fly too. Like, fuck. you could pull out a Shirley and hurt some feelings. Yeah, put but your Shirley on and your Cardi's on. That's you know? lamb's wool. Hey. Shirley, until them niggas didn't get that goddamn fur dry clean, and that shit was just matted fur. Oh, yeah, no. because that shit was fake. Yeah, and it was smelling like old bus seats. That's like uh, the, the Uggs, and some some girls no, they get bugs. one pair of Uggs and them just bugs. and just bug them out the whole bugs. winter. Like you, yo, you know, you're supposed that? to you're not supposed to wear socks with them. I, I don't think so. I don't think you're supposed to step in puddles in them bitches either. No, but, but you're supposed no, to wear. You can't step in, can step in puddles in the real ones. Right. Mm. And, you can, and you're not supposed to wear socks. Feet. You're not mm. supposed to wear but socks. But you got to wash your fucking feet. 
That's a whole nother connection. That's a whole nother connection. Yeah, that is. That's definitely. You, you got, have to get pedicures in the yeah, winter. You got okay. hammer time in your toes. I don't know what it's going to cut right through your butt. Yeah. <laughs> That's Same why they be leaning. They be like, to the left, to the left. Yep. And I hate seeing that. That's probably my biggest pet peeve in wintertime. Women with like the fake butt. Uh, it's normally a lot butts. of white it's, it's normally a lot of white women yeah. that grow up in like nah, Trenton. That have it no, no, it's, it's not. Keisha, yeah, I really wish it was. Yeah. With her pink. Jumpsuit, jogging suit, yeah, and her up. They brown. Her fucks. The whole back of the ankle just collapsed. And it'd be, and it'd be like to the left. Like, she's yeah. she's blowed them bitches. Yeah, yeah. yeah got exactly. salt stains on them from the yeah. snow and shit. Because mm. they're not real. Because she didn't spray them bitches with some crep protect no, on no, them. No, 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 no. Nah. They're not real. <laughs> they are not real. <laughs> that's that's the main Hardy problem. Fuck Ed Hardy or Von Dutch. Oh, Ed Hardy. I thought that was white people stuff. I thought that was white people stuff. Or because they're all white people brands that look like no, that. it's not. They had a mustache like mine, but this shit was more Everybody like wore no. Ed Hardy. If no, you I ever had BET Uncut, it's time for freaking. It's time to come clean. Bagos. Versace, I was sleeping. Some ghetto assholes. <laughs> oh, shit now. Yeah. I don't know about that You one. wasn't up when they was talking about, nope. I'm trying to kick it tonight. That was 3.30. I was asleep at 2. I didn't have cable. Oh, you were still in high that school. Was I was college. I, I, I didn't have cable in them days. I don't know nothing about that it. That was like college heel time. What was my man named <laughs> Jack, Jackal? <laughs> Jack or some shit? Like, <laughs> college Wait. That was the only motherfucker wait, I can remember off these. Hold on. Oh, wait. Stop. College Let's Hill. acknowledge the fact she just <laughs> she just brought up College Hill. Man, fuck you, BT. That shit. <laughs> you don't remember College Hill? I do. I do. Oh yeah. my yeah. god! Damn, damn, cable wow. niggas looking at Lamar. <laughs> <laughs> this was before. Just take Where you know, know, did okay? you go to? In a college Hill. Oh my god. College Hill was god awful, bro. Oh my god. College Hill was like a like a, it was like a bootleg. It was like a, a reality bootleg, show. Right? Not bootleg, nothing. It was, it was a bootleg, like real a world. low budget real world. Okay, yeah, I remember that. Okay, terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God awful. Yeah. So what was better, College Hill or Real World? Real World all day. Because Tammy Roman was on Tammy there as a Tammy and had, uh, who was the uh, other little? Ta- Tammy and Keisha K.R. was on Real World as ho. Puck was on mm. there. He was a real nigga. Yes. Listen, Puck was a real nigga. Uh, I can't remember some of the other white people that was on there. But ca- how can you? I, Ruthie. Fireworks. I right, listen. Who was the gay nigga that was black in Seattle that smacked the bitch that had lupus? <laughs> It was King of random, right there. Yeah. <laughs> listen, uh, how, how do you describe listen, him again? How do you remember that shit? Listen, listen, that listen, was on real world. They slapped the bitch with lupus. Listen, lupus. 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 lupus, lupus, lime, right? No, they're not the same. It's all around the same. Don't smack the shit out of her. Listen, he listen. The crazy part of it was Seattle, right? I was like, I like Seattle. It rains all the time. It really rains. It does not rain all the time in Seattle. Well, listen. This gay ass nigga with a hoop earring in his ear on the wrong ear. So Dennis Rodman had the goddamn seashell uh, fucking necklace and a goddamn uh, bracelet to match. His right? His name was Steven. Steven. This nigga walked out to the Honda Accord, bro. Listen, 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 listen. You got it. You got it. You got it. Listen, listen. You're gonna YouTube this. Look, answer this. YouTube this. Listen, right? Look. He walked up to this Honda Accord. He couldn't stand this white bitch that had Lyme disease, right? Listen. She was listen. She was on the show, but she got kicked off halfway because she was about to die or some shit, right? <laughs> so listen. Get kicked off because she was about to die. All right, whatever. <laughs> but listen, listen. He goes to the door. Listen, I didn't got to see it. I can remember it. Look, he the car is about it's like taking off, right? He goes to the car. Look, and he knocks on the window like this. Yeah. Like does three knocks, right? <laughs> and she like opens the door, and I swear to God, when she opens the door, this nigga's like <laughs> <laughs> and closes. Is that how he slept her? <laughs> <laughs> closes the fucking door. Put this on the big screen so we can see. Look, you gotta fast forward it because look. <laughs> big oh, I remember <laughs> this. I remember this guy. Yeah, look, no, yeah, watch, I remember this. Watch, bro. Look, that's the bitch. has got lupus mm. or, or Lyme what, disease. What, what does she have? She got leukemia. Other? Whatever. She got a lot of libations. Some with an L. Goddamn it. <laughs> look, 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 look at this nigga. He already salty. He got beta beads. How you get slapped by a dude with beta beads? She's got that goddamn snout pig shit action. Look at her. This nigga got on a Hawaiian shirt. And with, he has a list. And four rings. Uh, that's, yeah. that, that's, that's what sucking all that dick got stuck in the roof of his mouth. Oh, what? What? Super pulse. Like, Do you hear a lisp of me, nigga? So fuck, hey. shut the fuck up, nigga. I have a lisp when I put my top retainers in. That's all right. That's different, though. That's your female. <laughs> Dicks and females is all right. <laughs> oh, I got a bag and fix my teeth, but it's not okay no more. No, watch. He's about to smack this bitch. And internet, we've pulled up the but video. He's 
walk out yeah. with her. She got Shirley Temple girls. He should have slapped her. I, I, a seashell bees, whatever. Whatever they are. <laughs> what, what season is No, he got Tiffany balls listen, around look, his look, look. What the real world is this? So we're what watching the real world. Wait, listen. Watch. Why is he grabbing So internet's, like we're watching the real world. And look, he real runs world, out. Seattle. Seattle, okay. I told you, nigga. I, I know, love Seattle. I don't know his father. Look, look, he runs. And there's the Honda Civic or the Toyota, whatever the fuck this is. I was close. One of them uh, overseas shits. He grabs a teddy bear. Puts his little lapel on. Says, you forgot this, bitch. You forgot the teddy bear. <laughs> and throws that bitch in the water. I forgot about that part. So then they show a teddy bear floating in the water. <laughs> and this bitch is getting in the Toyota, right? So look, she's like, fuck my bear. I'm going to get in the Toyota. <laughs> whatever, right? Then there's camera C where it's following Steven's. Uh, fruity ass with the nigga with the oh, mic boom. Wait, lady, look, you and he's like, this. he's like this. You left something. Fuck it. I'm gonna go tell this bitch. Look, 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 Sharon. The, the Toyota's running off. And look, wait, he runs wait, out Toyota. Look, not, not, not. Look, look, not, not, not. Hey, 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 hey. Opens the door. Look. Why do you remember this shit? I have no idea. Why do you remember that one? Come on, be my baby tonight. Right. Yes, of course I do. Well. What song was that? David. David. From, from Louisiana. Yep. The big buff nigga that was walking around with the light eyes. Like, you remember that? It's okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm not even going to finish all these goddamn things. I, I, I didn't lie. I didn't know you were a, a real world connoisseur. <laughs> it was MTV, man. Music television. So and can you tell me uh-huh. about the episode, the season that Keisha K.O.R. was on there? I can't. I probably can't. I have to get a BTS special. Robinson? I remember the gauntlet. I remember Tammy was on the shit with that nigga David, who was the nigga that was like, "Boo that man, boo!" He was on there with him. Whatever like that whack ass nigga was. That was the world. first season of Real World, or like Ellen or something. Yeah. Right? So which one was Keisha K. Or on? I can't remember these hoes' names. You gotta show me some uh, Gucci Mane wife. Uh, Two thousand and something. She wasn't on no ninety show. Why? Because she just came from Jamaica. She did. Doing the Masha Tuck. With all her kids. With all of them. All three of them up. Oh, uh, Trini. You all right over there, libation? And then there's silence. Because <laughs> niggas start dropping whatever. Okay, can you finish your list? I, I can. The, nigga, listen, we're, gonna, we're just going to go on this shit. Niggas, I know Sherm didn't wear Armani because the nigga still ain't wearing it. And uh, Tom ain't wearing Versace. But I had some goddamn glasses that was Versace. I, I had glasses that were Versace. I had a Versace outfit. It was velvet. It was velvet? And I went to DePore's Homecoming with that, too. It Polo. Was burgundy. Everybody's had Ralph Lauren. How many times did you go to DePore's Homecoming? Three times. Okay. With the eagle. <laughs> <laughs> Brown and yellow. She remembers the time. Do you remember? I remember a polo shirt I had on. You should show that picture. And I shouldn't call people out by their government name, but we was at a Thunder Bowl bowling alley. Is that still open? I, don't, I have no idea. I've never been over there. Is it really? Yeah. And I had a gray, And I had a gray polo shirt on. And it said Polo Sport with a little flag on it. And that bitch so was you like, was getting money. I was getting money. It was like a 3X. But the bitch that was there didn't know I was getting money. And she had a lisp. Do you remember her name? Why do you have problems oh, with definitely people remember with speech impediments? You, he remembers her name. Because her name. Because it's funny. But I have a speech impediment. No, you don't, though. I do. She was like, she was like, no, hey, hers, hers was pretty bad. Hers was no, bad. No, it was worse. It was like, it was like the Pootie Tang shit. No, it was, it was worse than that. It was, pr- it was worse than the Pootie Tang shit. But we still wanted to fuck. And she was with a swim team guy. But that's neither here nor there. Michael Phelps? Nope. Swim team. All right. <laughs> nope. Nope. All right. Nope. All right. Don't All right. do it. All right. But can you show the picture? I'm, I'm gonna, you got I'm the picture of me. I had no mustache. I had no facial hair. No mustachio? I, I couldn't. But I was still a suave ass nigga with a 3XT on. <laughs> no, knowing I needed a large. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's all good though, because we had Thunderbolt and, and Polo was the was the shit. Anything you had Polo was the shit. Polo, Polo, Polo. I had Polo pants. Listen, I'll tell you a quick story. Finesse Ralph Lauren Polo about five years ago. Shout out to Dallas Penn in New York. Okay, <laughs> regular ass time has got. That's him. Has got the picture. Bro, you have a tan. It's all good, baby, baby. Fresh. Show, show the internet that shit. That's that nigga right there. Don't worry about it. I was the nigga though. They was like, we don't know what the fuck. Like, we should fuck with him or we shouldn't. Damn, homie. What school did you go to again? Cast Tech Cast slash Tech. Ferndale. Ferndale? I left. Like a Ferndale adult? Like Ferndale. No, no, not. <laughs> what the fuck? No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> not, not them, ta- not them township <laughs> niggas. <laughs> oh, special ed ass niggas. She's right. I not know. them township niggas. No, it's All a difference. It's definitely oh, a difference. <laughs> 
not <laughs> not, not, the not the I think you know a guy. Listen, <laughs> I need to clarify. She had a oh, 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 Ferndale oh, High. So am I the only one to know about no, Ferndale you know, adult? Hey man, I, listen. You're listen, definitely like not. Her, okay? <laughs> You're definitely not the listen, only one that I like her. her. So okay? I'm the only one that got balls enough to ask the question? Thank you. Ooh. I mean, Ooh. I always assumed Ooh. it was, you know. Nah, I'm not assuming anything because yeah, I'm right, not making right. an ass of myself. Right. You're right. right. You're right. Right, right. She's humble. She's taught better than that. Like, unlike you fucking... Heathens and shit around here. The dot ass, G D ass. Nah, nah, nah. I can't never, his educational. Never boys. Okay, he made it. That's you can hear. You can hear how I speak, and in my speech is the shit. Okay. I mean, so anyway, Google is everything. It is mm-hmm. all of that shit. YouTube. Forgot where I was going with it, but was anyway. That a song? <laughs> polo, nigga. <laughs> polo. 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 You niggas had Polo. Y'all had Assassin. Polo the Dawn, nigga. Timberland no. and Tommy Hilfiger. No. Tell you another quick story about Tommy Hilfiger. Fuck Tommy Hilfiger, okay? Yeah, who's, mom, who's still wearing Tommy? Listen, my mom thought that was a shit, okay? I was a goddamn freshman at Cass Tech going to a junior and senior auto body class. I was the only freshman to go to a junior and senior auto body class. So I signed out for tap dance because the nigga was trying to tap for you some soft to be shit. Glover I right sure there. did. I could have pulled it off. But the nigga that was up there left and the goddamn assistant football coach teacher was the goddamn niggas right niggas for pass. You want to go to lunch? Fuck it. Nigga, we not learning shit about tap? I'm out of here. So I was the only freshman in a junior and senior auto body class. Mom was trying to hook me up and mom's like, yo, Tommy Hilfiger's the shit, baby. Cool. I'm like, what you got for me, mama? She's like, go in your room. I got some Tommy Hilfiger for you. I'm thinking it's a fleece. Was it Tommy Bahama? Or some or pants. No, no, no. It was Hilfiger, all right. The problem was, it was Tommy Hilfiger overalls. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, no. But here's the problem. With here's the, the red, problem. white, blue flag? Nope, nope, no, 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 no. The Tommy logo was in the center. It was blue jeans, right? The straps on this bitch were white yeah. with the Tommy written in black. Oh, you had the Aaliyah out. joints. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is at the point I draw the line. <laughs> what, listen, what made it even worse is I was like, yeah, I'm going to kill them niggas. I got some Tommy shit on. And I threw the overalls on, threw them shits on. I threw was like they a, both buckled? They were, both were buckled. No. No, you were supposed to have one off. With a white t-shirt underneath. With a white Hanes t-shirt underneath, right? It was baggy? So already, yeah, it was already baggy. I kind of felt naked already as it is, right? <laughs> so I walked in the, in the class and I had this coat on, right? So all you really see is just jeans. You're like, all right, this nigga's all right. He got some coat and jeans on, right? <laughs> so I take my coat off. Niggas <laughs> <laughs> <Like, laughs> was like, hey, yo, man, why you got both your goddamn shit straps? <laughs> and I was like, what? What the fuck you talking about? Like, nigga, nigga like you, you on the farm, nigga? Right? Like, Every yo, bro, you supposed to take one of, one of the straps back. <laughs> and it was a girl. I can't remember her name. Felicia some shit. She was a dark skin chick. She came up to me. She's like, come here. Don't worry about Why it. Why gotta be I a color? Because that's what she was. She was just black as hell. And she came up to me. And she was like, come here. I got you. And she took my left strap off. And she was like, ah. And then she took my right strap. I'm like, hold on, bitch. I'm about to get this. My drawers are here. <laughs> and she was like, no, no, no. I got you. I got you. And she pulled the right over the left. And kept the other shit off. And she's like, this is how you need to wear this shit. And I was like, this shit is awkward as fuck. I don't want to wear this ever again. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I remember being an auto body trying to change the tire and some goddamn Tommy overalls. Them shits got one burn and I never wore them was shits it, ever it again. Never yeah. again. Never again. I got clown. let Felicia fuck you never over. I, it's okay. Felicia, help me out. Shout out to you, girl, wherever you at. <laughs> <laughs> she probably married to a nigga named Thurston with five right. kids. I went to school with a dude named Thurston. Fuck that nigga Thurston. <laughs> <laughs> And it was light skin. I went to a nigga named uh, oh, school named Thurston and he had red ass gums with small teeth. He had dolphin teeth. And Thurston, if you're hearing this, I, I, I can remember. Campbell. Yep. He was dark skinned though. No. No, this nigga was dark skinned with red teeth. That was the fake Thurston. No, he was some nigga, some goofy fucking nigga. Sloppy ass nigga. You mad me? I probably am. So was this at Aztec or Ferndale? Aztec? Adult? No, it was at Cass, where niggas were selling saltwater taffy in RLTC. Right. I never, I never liked them niggas that sold. <laughs> Shout out to Craig Face. Uh, See, Cass for being made RLTC. y'all grow up too fast. <laughs> Cass did. We, what kind of, you a nigga in the army selling taffy. See, and they didn't have all that. Laugh, You selling bubblegum taffy and shit. You didn't know if you was in auto shop or the army, huh? This is all bad. All I know is I had a nigga named. <laughs> all I know is I had a nigga named Fadala, and all I. <laughs> All I had to talk about was like, like gas station shit and corner store shit. Yep. I never had to change a tire or get under automobile ever. 
His name was Mr. He was Fadi. We call him Fadi. No CCMA. Real name. They they focus on education. Yeah, we just I focus on talking to niggas no. and networking. Like we oh, didn't have to go to ROTC. Oh, somebody else. Somebody else. We didn't have next. to go change no tires. Like we was adult educated. Like when we got to college, we knew what the fuck we was doing when we got. There. I know how to talk to people. Thank you, Fadi. Miss Mayu right. got us together. Mm. Mr. Barnett got us together. Barnett. That sounds like a hoe ass nigga. And he was. <laughs> he was. But he had everybody <laughs> good at math. <laughs> Mr. Bar. We got uh, real so fucking class. good right now. <laughs> <laughs> he was a light skinned nigga mm-hmm. that got you together with them numbers real quick. Yep. We didn't have to change tires and Tommy Hill. I didn't change shit. Off. I was talking shit to people. I smoked a square with Fadi. I'm like, you got one of them new ports. You wasn't smoking squares in high school. Show sure one, but I was pumping that bitch so and blowing. Stressful? I was like this. You light skinned in high school. Why is your life so stressful? Freshman, okay. Niggas <laughs> love me. He was running home, hopping fences. Pausers. Yeah. But you know, it's, it's coming all to, all to fruition, right? Mm-hmm. Stalkers. Tom, you're really not that light skinned. You don't have. He's to a great. Him. He's a greyhound. He's beige. Oh shit! I couldn't tell when I was growing up. He don't know what he is. He's a little moccasin. You know the moccasins what? you buy. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you know the moccasins you buy at pennies and shit. Don't do that. With the little, don't with the little, that. with the little fray. Don't do that. That's not real moccasins. He slides in. He's that moccasin though. I don't even know. Okay. Regular ass Tom ain't even a color. He's a moccasin. No. This nigga right here. Mm. Sorry right, though. Big penis. Uh, these are really good mics. <laughs> <laughs> Heard all of that shit. That was for another stop shit. Anywho, internets. I hope you've loved this trip down memory lane. Yeah, the light skin. Learned a lot about you. Yeah, because you niggas clearly you. We didn't do shit with your uh, brands. Yeah, and, uh, well, I'm sorry. We didn't get fucking Tommy Hill figure overall presented to us. Shout out to my shout out to my mom who was you know. The Shermhead yeah. clan was way too big for that. There yeah. was no chance. Y'all was sewing yeah. patches on your wall. Yeah. There was Every Saturday, Mr. Tech, Mr. Mm-hmm. Magic on the wall. No, never mm-hmm. mind. Fuck. The struggle was real. The struggle was real. Okay. Nigga was taking, uh, what's the, what's the fake eyes out shit? I don't know about that. <laughs> you said fake eyes out. I don't wear eyes out <laughs> now, <laughs> my girl. Don't try to play me. Like, ever, what? No. Was- it Never, I thought Izod was, I was, I was, I was no, 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 it was a it was, it was a faker brand. No. Then Izod? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck was they that? Shot at the Izod was never a thing. I don't know what he's Sherm talking about. Sherm had an Izod 2 button, okay? I know. My daddy used to wear Izod golf shirts. Yep. But Sherm didn't get the golf shirt. He got Why the, you why you all so hard on Sherm? Pausers. I'm not hard on him. <laughs> but <laughs> this is my guy we, here. We talked about this. Yep. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yeah, we talked about you, this. You thought I was in the wrong. I told you, just you wait, just See? observe. I apologize. He you know what I'm saying? Quit being so racist. That's okay. He's black. <laughs> he's black. I ha- I can't help it. Are people come from black you know people? Hey, he's black. I can't help I it. I can't help it. We just mean, a little big. I, I can't help we, it. We little mutt puppets. Listen. Tico wears blackface on Halloween. Don't listen to him. Blackface. Ain't that a shit? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's how anti That's a nigga that's in the field that's want to be in the cool. house. You know. Hey, oh, hey, black hey. ass nigga. If it wasn't for the field, we would not be in the house. All I'm saying is take your hat off and look at your hair and my hair. That's cool. I like my wow. hair. That's in berries. Look, look. Like hair. You ain't got no <laughs> job, Tommy. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. All I'm saying is, sure I've got more sure. facial hair than you, though. I'll be sure. Who is his nigga? Name a Nobody black Nobody likes I'll be sure. Wesley Snipes and bitches love That's why. Wesley had a, hot, a low top but fade. But if you compare him to I'll be sure, Diddy is dark skinned and still got I'll be sure's baby mama. Hello. I'm just saying. And took care of his kid. But that's dolphin teeth. Take that. Take that. Doesn't matter that nigga Richard didn't. I'll be sure. This is facts only. Yeah, what is that I'll is be facts. sure doing these days? So it doesn't mean anything. I can't tell. Even you. Keith Sweat got a radio show. He dark skin. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he does. Yeah, regular ass time just found out about in his old age. He just found out about with dark skin ago. as he didn't Steve know, Harvey. He didn't know that. But Steve Harvey is bald regular too. Ass time I don't know check for fucking Keith Sweat. Why the fuck would I give a fuck? Right? Why would he? I don't give a fuck about Keith Sweat. But Keith Sweat radio ain't popping like that. I'm just mad no, if no, he you fucking radio. Yeah. <laughs> Who gives a fuck about his knowing ass voice? That's the stupidest shit. And them old bitches like, hey Keith, I just want to know what's yeah. going on with my relationship. So, so you got your panties wet, right? <laughs> wait, wait, they give he gives relationship. Nigga, it's, yeah. the, it's the <laughs> slow <laughs> time. Yes, bro. I, we it's told you that. Right <laughs> ass <laughs> we told you, nigga. Get the fuck out of here, dog. You're not about Jeez. the culture. It's okay. No, I'm not about the Keith Sweat culture. Keith Sweat is about the culture, dog. Keith Sweat is what the fuck? Keith Sweat is definitely about the culture. If he has a goddamn radio, I'm not checking for Keith. Listen, but hoes are, but bitches are. No, they're not. People's mamas and mamas' mamas are definitely checking for Keith Sweat. No, my mama ain't. Listen, you might have heard her on ninety two point three. Like I got through. Hey, um, no, ain't nobody from Detroit getting through to that nigga. Just trust me. Listen to his show. They be like, I love. I went to all your concerts in eighty four, ninety four. 
He sweated even on tour no more. He was in Patty LaBelle shut that nigga's career down. <laughs> <laughs> Patty's out there making pies and shit now, okay. so I want to hear about and that. And Keith ain't getting on them pies. This is a life skin debate. We can go all Listen, night. Listen, if I see you niggas out here with a patty pie, it's going to be a problem this Thanksgiving. What? They still make those? They sure do. I saw them while I was getting my bread. I don't know why day. he keep looking at me. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, so don't get a patty pie. You look at me like I get that shit. I don't even eat you that You probably shit. are. I know. Trying to play that shit off. Yeah, I made this all night for y'all. It's a goddamn <laughs> patty pie. It's a goddamn patty pie. Nigga, you ain't fooling me. Me, freeze, Bet your ass still eat that shit, though. No, what I want to eat that shit. I know what a patty pie when I see one, nigga. Why? I don't want to eat one. I saw that big nigga with a rhinestone had eat one, and it didn't look delicious. Why? You know, I'm gay, you know who's fronting? Who's fronting? <laughs> this nigga is fronting. That I'm going to eat a patty so, pie? Term, we going to go back. A few like nope. A lot of episodes. episode thirty four, thirty five. I can almost recall it. Why do you know said, all this shit? I went to Walmart, right? To, uh, fight, uh, to uh, fight it for you, niggas. Thank you, fresh. No, to fight. Uh, I don't even eat fucking pies. Why <laughs> yeah, you fighting for me, nigga? Nobody <laughs> ate this patty pie you bought. Yeah. <laughs> but Tico, he no, no, called, don't buy a pie called, from Muhammad on the side of the road. Walmart. I would definitely not. And them he grapes. went to multiple them places, grapes. waiting in line, mm-hmm. trying don't to get it. Me good as fresh. Am I lying? I'm not lying. I'm fucking. I call multiple places. But your Why? Why is your life getting this? Because we had a chef. We had a McCall. Hey, you got this box of band aids? I'm looking for. No, you call for a reason. Band aids. You call. You just call. Why this, you looking call? for Petty in her pies. Listen, Teak, why you call? Why you call? Because I have black niggas that eat pies Boom. here. Quit no, being so no, racist. Nobody ate the pies. For the record, AKA I had no. Oh, Claude and goddamn. Uh, oh, nobody. Claude. Like I said, Claude. Nobody ate this pie <laughs> that he supposedly bought. Listen. He ate that bitch when y'all left. Listen, yeah, exactly. No, I couldn't find it. And I f- tried to find it for these niggas because we had a you baker on the show. You used your skin privilege to find I a sure fucking pie? Because the bitches on the phone was east side thick, okay? It doesn't matter. And all I got you to say died. is. Maybe I got nuts and berries in my listen, hair. I, I'm can, a, I'm I can change your I'm life. I'm going to get a patty pie for these niggas this year. Internet. No, don't do it for those the Because those, of, those of you. Those of you that have been rocking with us, I'm going to get it. And show it to you. I'm good. Eat it, Fuck no, I'm gonna eat have Sherm. Eat the money. cake, anime. I'm gonna have Sherm eat, eat it. No, 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 anime. Why Sherm gotta be you know the guinea saying? pig? Because like, that nigga eats all of them. No, you do it for there the light skin privilege. <laughs> nah. There you go. Right. Nah, <laughs> Sherm eats all kind of pie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to answer that, so I'm gonna yes, just let you it do, chill. Like, I was cool. quiet. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> no comments. Listen, internets, we wanna thank Lala for coming through. La la libations. Thirst quenchers and all. Thank you, Lala. Absolutely. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> You've now entered the goddamn BTF zone. That's what you feel about it. What now. do these letters mean? That's all right. Blue, blue, blue tiger tigers. Fit it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. So you've come here, you've drinking the juice, you've given us juice. No, I've given you juice. And you've mm-hmm. drank some juice, though. You drank some BTF juice. I, barely, but yeah. Barely. But you're on it, though. I'm on it. (laughs) But for my disclaimer, Lala has nothing to do with these racial slurs Uh that have been slandered. They didn't tell you to sign that uh, waiver before you came in I didn't sign no waivers. No waivers. None at all. I'm for the all skin, not just light skin, Mm -hmm. for the all skin. The all skin. All skin. Red, brown, black, blue. I'm yellow, but from a brown man. From a brown man. (laughs) Blue blacks. There's nothing wrong with that. Shout out to Black goes with everything, so it's beautiful. It does. Let's go. Did you know black is not a color? Exactly. It's the foundation. The Where the it's the foundation. foundation. I'm from Negro. Exactly. Yeah, me too. Yeah. El Muy Negro. Oh, Muy? <laughs> what you saying? Some Thai shit, nigga? Oh, Muy Thai. <laughs> <laughs> El that nigga mixing like two different languages. Very uh, black. Uh, muy Mango. Uh, that's, uh, mucho Tabueno. That, means, that uh, means very black. Mm-hmm. Not the way he said it. It sounded like he ordered a number two. <laughs> You'll hear it in playback. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking niggas at the goddamn uh, Chinese Number, number two from where? Who knows, nigga? Wherever you eat Chinese from. Asian <laughs> <laughs> Golden Bowl. I don't know where you go. <laughs> Golden Bowl. <laughs> Stan Lee. Listen, yeah, internet. Right? All I got to say is, if you in- enjoyed the show this evening, we appreciate you. Definitely check us out. Blue Tigers Fitted Network. Chantel here. You already know how we do. G-Spot Podcast. Definitely make sure you check out my ladies over there. LV and the Daily Brew. We've come united. Just in case you didn't know. God damn it. Sherm's grabbing empty shits of pouches. I already mentioned the Thirst Quenchers, but it's quite all right. We'll do it again. Do it just again. Just because Sherm didn't hear it. And it's quite all right. Because there's extra dark black people behind the mic. But, you know... This has been all this goddamn. I'm I'm gonna leave it alone. All this dark, all this dark talk. All this dark about? talk. Yeah, yeah. I threw away all my dark chocolate for Halloween. I was like, none of this. Your girl wants it. Whoa, oh! <laughs> Biarch, <laughs> got him. <laughs> <laughs>
That nigga been saying that shit all that goddamn time. That was a good save, Sheriff. He was like, Got drop you. this shit at the end. <laughs> huh? I'm about to blow a bomb under this motherfucker. Got you. Scumbag shirt. Sure. <laughs> Regular ass time. And of course, myself, BTF Teak. I'll get you back next week, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry about it. It's all good. It's watching mama's mama's. Oh. Okay. Bitches. And we're out of here, internets. Blue Tigers fitted. Appreciate y'all. Peace. Peace. Peace.